how we feeling? How we doing? It's Zelda Day 2! Well, I guess technically... Technically, it's still Zelda Day 1. Um, but I have slept in between last Zelda stream and today, so... It's Zelda Day 2. Hi, everybody. How's it going? How's everybody doing? That's like a new day. Yeah, I think that's... I think, at least like cognitively, that's a different day. It's still March 12th, either which way, Eastern time. It's not tomorrow until you sleep. Exactly. I'm, I'm a huge, like, I'm a huge proponent of this idea. Um, we're going to play some more Tears of the Kingdom today, obviously. I'm very excited. Uh, Crypto, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Caveman rules. <laughs> No. It's not it's not that we're it's not that we're operating on rules that are pre the discovery of science and mathematics. We're just we're just rejecting science and mathematics. That's better, I think. Um <laughs> Anyway, oh my god, sorry. I'm like, okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm so tired right now. Uh this week has been just nonstop. I think I've streamed every single day this week. I think I've streamed every single day this week. And I'm I'm feeling it. Um but hopefully we're, you know, we're still gonna have a good time tonight. We're gonna play play more Zelda. Yeah. Part two of Tears of the Kingdom. Um <clears throat> This is the follow-up stream to the midnight release stream we did last night. Um, if you missed it, I apologize, but we did already do like a five hour stream of this. Um, so yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Well, I was going to be like, so I don't actually know. God, I mean, I would love to get like another, another just like nice long stream out of this one. Um, cause obviously there's a lot of game here to cover. Um, and I want to, I want to generally keep up to pace with people. Uh, but also, I, I guess don't be surprised if this is more like your average, like, three to four hour. Um, because I am, <laughs> I'm sitting here right now and I'm talking. And it just in, like, my my face muscles and in my body, I'm just like, oh, man. <laughs> I, like, I have, been, I have been talking too much over the past week. How are you, Penny? I'm good otherwise. I'm doing great. Um... I definitely need to get out of the house a little more next week. Um, that'll be something I'm I'm trying to keep up with because uh and you know, I, I did push a lot of appointments to next week in the interest of being able to kind of binge streams this week because we've had a lot to do this week. So um uh yeah, so next week I I don't know, because like next week I, I I want to kind of go equally as hard next week. I don't know. It's it's stream hell right now is currently what it is. But I'm going to I'm going to work within my limitations obviously. I'm not going to push myself too hard. Um cuz ultimately that's just that's just going to make everything else a mess. Um I am definitely feeling it today though. Uh but it's been fun. It's it's like, you know, it's kind of it's like a fun kind of like it's it's I'm tired, but I'm also just like real. I'm full of like good experiences this week, you know, at least in terms of like content experiences. Um, but it, it has it has caused me to like shirk some of my uh, some of my uh, no, not obligations. I just have I just haven't been outside in a little bit, and I'm like, oh, I'm feeling it. Um, that's okay. You won't blame me if you take it easy this stream. Yeah, I probably will. Um, we're just gonna be gaming. We're gonna be gaming. Uh, last night was really, really fun, though. Uh, this game is fantastic so far. Um, and I am definitely excited to see more of what it has in store. Huh? Uh. Alright, I was just adjusting my window. Alright, I think, honestly... I don't want to, I don't want to do like, I don't want to do much like prelude here. I kind of just want to play more. Um, because I was, 
I was waiting a little bit to start stream today because I was specifically waiting for um when Joy Joy Dollop Days started her stream so that I could see her reaction to at least like the beginning of the game. And then while I was watching her, I was like, oh God, <laughs> I want to play this. So I like I immediately started my stream feed. Um and I got some coffee and we are good to go, I think. Uh so actually while watching, I did admittedly I I did um, admittedly go on a brief like mini quest on my own time in the game. I didn't go anywhere that we hadn't already previously been. I didn't activate any other story stuff. But I I did discover something that I thought chat would appreciate. Those of those of you who joined us last night would appreciate. So I went out of my way to grab it. Um and I'm going to show it to you. So as you can see, we're I you know, we're we're still here. We're still here. I didn't I didn't go too crazy. Um Things 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 are looking generally the same. I wonder what I got. <gasps> What's this? A shirt? Something to cover up his arms and his torso? Say it ain't so. It is so. Uh we finally got our boy a shirt. I got the uh the archaic tunic. And um honestly, I think I think fashion is gonna be like a big pillar of my playthrough here. I think I I really am gonna try and go out of my way to get as much fashion as possible. Cause that was something I really, really liked about the first game. And that's something that I am very much liking so far about this one. Anyway, I did also, while in the process of getting this shirt, I managed to grab a couple other things. Um namely uh, well, I, I cooked a bunch of food. I literally just sat there for like three minutes just cooking a shit ton of food. So we have all kinds of food with different status effects. Um, so that's cool. So now we just have all this on hand. Um, and then I also picked up a ruby, which I might go ahead and see how much this sells for. Because if it's anything like Breath of the Wild, gems and like minerals are really gonna be kind of like the thing that helps us keep our rupee count up, aside from just like doing quests and stuff. Hey. Uh, oh. So let's see, uh. how much do, oh my God, yeah, it's, it's like a night and day difference. Okay, uh. so oh. I would very much like to, in the near future, kind of go out of my way to get some to get some minerals like once we're once we're kind of out and about and we find i guess like a what's a we we gotta just find like a like a mountain or something like like a like a nice cliffside and just really really just go to town on um on a bunch of like mineral deposits no not you get out of here I already talked to you okay you, Mubs. I am actually going to buy this Silean tunic. I know I literally just got the 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 ancient thing, the archaic tunic. I'm gonna sell some stuff and get this other one, because I do actually really want this one. Well, it's got better defense. And I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm keeping the skirt on until we find a new one. Maybe. Jury's still out. But it's a big possibility. All right, what's my next best bet here? In terms of... Oh, man. Oh, we can, uh... I wish you could sort by what sells the most. Oh, we can maybe sell some food. Ah. Uh, I think... I am going to get rid of... I think I'm going to get rid of, like, my meat skewer. I don't want to get rid of anything that has, like, special effects. <laughs> like pyrotechnics. So I'm going to get rid of two meat skewers. Uh. And then that'll be enough. And now we can buy the... 
Now we can buy the tunic. Very cool. Nice choice. Is 130 rupees okay? No, can you give it to me for less? Very cool. That's so generous of you, sir. You've made me very happy today. Cute. Okay. Now we are, um... Now we're looking like we we just walked right out of the first game. <laughs> Except he's got this majestic long hair, which is really cool in its own right. Um, okay, cool. We'll uh we'll leave it at that. Now we need to go talk to uh Pura. I discovered while watching Joy's stream that I completely missed the fact. Can't even really see the skirt. I know, I'm honestly I'm a little mad. <laughs> but I'm not gonna think about it. We'll find something better. We'll find something better. I mean, it's there. It's there. You can see it. We just have to, um, just have to pretend. Wait, Blood Moon? Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. oh, shit. Our first blood moon! Yeah, I was I was gonna say, like, I didn't know if this- Oh my god, whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't know this was still in the game, but also it makes sense why it's here, because it's like a fully, like, mechanical thing. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god, it looks so cool! Witness the blood moon's rise. <laughs> what the fuck?! When its red glow shines upon the land. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Just as they do. And it frees up the Nintendo Switch's memory. The world is threatened To day. keep up game performance at a stable 30 frames per second. Be careful, Link. <laughs> why is she doing this? I know, why is she- Why is she a little freaky with it? That's so funny. Zelda weirdly sounds so excited about it. She's given off some, like, sinister vibes right now. Um, she's a little upsetting, but, like, in a- in a fun way. Um, hi, Pura. I did discover during Joy's stream that it's pronounced Pura. Um, or, like, Pura. And it it just feels wrong, but we're gonna we're not gonna bellyache about it. Uh huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Uh huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are sky view towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Yes. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Oh, she's gonna give me, like, some leads? There we go, yeah. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lanayru to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Oh, God. Divine Beast, too? Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. <laughs> hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebrew recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. <gasps> I'll be here, directing a variety of investigations into the upheaval's many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah! I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. 
Oh my god, my voice is so exhausted. <laughs> I legitimately, I'm really feeling it. Um, I'm really feeling it. Dude, uh, congrats to Monolith Soft for like carrying the Nintendo Switch on their back ever since 2017. Um, by the way. Also, yeah, so by the way, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna do my best. Maybe don't expect the highest quality voice work from the stream because I am fucking exhausted. Joshua, what have you got going on? Oh, what an excellent night! Oh. oh, it's you! You know, that pura pad of yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect! I'll need to head back to the lab when Josh has got the depths investigation sorted out. Aww. Come on, Goggles! Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? Huh. I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths! Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. No way, no how! You can't do that! The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. Not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end. But I need more on that figure! If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths! What figure? Huh. Oh, Swordsman! Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. She's cute. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. The depths. The freaking fucking depths. This piece of slate, uh, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that picture? Or see that figure standing up on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there. So I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. <clears throat> Aww. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Joshua, mm. come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. <sighs> and Link will join me. What? Is you gonna volunteer me like that? <laughs> People be doing this to Link all the time. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Purapad's camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. A perfect plan! Camera? Who? You don't know about the camera? It's from the last game. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. <sighs> Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Purapad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. Well, that's are down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Oh. Let's see. We should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ah. Ta-ta! Huh. Oh, hold on. Woo! Let's do my stretches. <clears throat> Wait, hang on! <laughs> Die. Oh no, he's gone. Uh, looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. Oh, but here, maybe this will help you out at least. Bright bloom seed, okay. Oh! When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving off faint light from a small flower. Oh, and take this too. Arrows, five. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, he want to head straight out of Lookout Landing's southern gate. He'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, <laughs> but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. 
cool. Okay. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> oh, I love her. All right. Cool. So we got a new arrow recipe. Kind of just like a... Oh, wrong button. Kind of just like a flare, I guess. New thing, new thing. Oh, a giant bright bloom seed. Okay. So like... Oh, that is so cool. Wait, that looks really, really cool. Uh, doesn't seem like I can pick it up again either. I wonder if you could do it, um... I wonder if you could attach it onto a sword and make like a little fireless torch, like a, like a flashlight. Hold on. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Damn. Oh, shit! Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, you can plant it. Okay, I see. So it's not that there... It's not that the arrow is technically still lighting things up. It's that if you shoot a sheet... Shoot a seed... Shoot a sheet. If you shoot a seed onto an arrow and then shoot it at a surface, it'll then plant the seed, and it's the same with the sword. Okay. Got it. Making a farm, yeah. We're just, um, kind of ruining their whole aesthetic here. Oh, man. All right, we got an adventure to go on. There's a lot of shit to do. So... Oh, my God, you get so many more... You get so many more quests! This is awesome! Okay, so what should we do? Regional phenomena, camera work in the depths. I guess this is like the next easiest thing because this is like, this seems like it's going to be like, like the divine beast. This seems like a very overarching kind of story. Um, whereas this is like a very specific goal. Um, we really don't have anything else right now. I mean, except for just like running around, so... Um, let me... Oh, you know what? I actually... I have a pin here. Because I do know one thing I want to do. Is this the right thing? Genuinely can't tell. No, right here. Okay. So I wanted to go down here. Because if y'all remember, when I was, like, falling from the... the Great Sky Island, um... I saw like a weird pattern in the ground and I was like, hey, what the hell is that? So I'm thinking I want to chase that down. And I, when I was going to get the, the archaic tunic, I marked it. I marked the area I'm pretty sure it's at. So I'm thinking that's where I'll go next. I'm wondering though, okay, so like what's the stable situation like? So I really want to grab my horse. Is it- I mean, they got horses here. Should I just talk to one of these guys? I build it. Hello, Lester. Mm -hmm. You've caused quite a stir since your arrival here. <laughs> People do fuss, don't they? This is your first visit. Talk to that soldier in the- Okay. Oh yeah, here we go! We're still getting things together on that front, so I'm afraid you'll have to hold your horses for a while longer. Register a horse? If you register a wild horse as your own, you can call that horse to you at a stable whenever you please. At bigger roadside stables, not only can you rest the horses, but you can also stay the night. Oh, shit. We didn't have room to build something that fancy here, but I did want a place I could take care of horses properly. Which is why Carson from Hudson Construction is planning to build us a mini stable. Oh, they have another kind of stable. That's really cool. <laughs> Once it's finished, you'll be able to register, board, and take out horses just like you would at any other stable. Who are you? Why are you talking to me about this? Get out of here. You should have bundled up if you're going to Hebra. The cold over there was intense. Noted. Oh, man. Okay. I do need a horse. I need a horse very badly. Oh. Oh, shit. I should keep a torch on hand. Do I have anything I can drop? Let's see. I'll just drop this stick. I always like having a torch on hand. Okay. Let's, um, I guess first order of business. Nope, never mind. Hold on. <laughs> okay, better idea. <laughs> Let's make a fucking vehicle. 
Let's make a car. Because while I was up on the Great Sky Island, you might be pleased to know that I also got more fans. And we have new wheels. Oh, the wheels respawned? Yeah, no, I mean, like a blood moon happened. So everything is gonna go back to like its default state when a blood moon happens. However, this is also admitted, like, to be fair, this is also like a different um, thing. <laughs> Shit. Okay, this is a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Get it getting wheels onto like flat surfaces like this. What if I just do it this way? Yeah, here we go. That's something, that's better. Oh, okay, not quite. Almost. I guess it just really wants to go on the corner there. That's fine. All right. Pretty sure the wheels snap into place to make that easier. Yeah, but the, the snapping into place is actually at times making it harder, but it's okay. We'll get a feel for it. Okay, <laughs> so now let's, uh, yeah, we're making like a chariot. Um, we're not going to be able to steer it, I don't think. Dude, come on. There we go. Okay, stay right there, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay. Stay. It like doesn't want to stay. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. No. Wait, 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 wait. I wish we had like a, I wish we had like a fan because I have, um, I have a board guster. <laughs> so we could steal, um, or we, uh, steal, we could, sorry. Okay, this is also something you're gonna have to realize about this stream. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time maybe saying words occasionally because of how tired I am. Uh, I hope that's okay. Just know I'm doing my best. You've seen me at my best, and you'll see me at my worst. Anyway. We, we can do more. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, weird. Oh, that's an interesting thing that can happen. Okay. <laughs> Pulling up to the castle in that thing of a jig. All right, watch this. So we're just gonna point towards the blue dot and wham. Go, go, go! Yeah! Is that my previous attempt? That is straight up my previous attempt that went very poorly. No, 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 no! Whoa, look out! A fucking casualty. 12 points. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We need more juice! No, leave me alone! Quick, quick! <laughs> no, 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 come back! Come back! Come on! Got it, got it, got it! Okay, let's go! Woo! Alright. Oh, this is so good. Okay. Now, use it. Use it. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? My car! <laughs> no. Okay. That's fine. We're making we're making good progress. It's not gonna be a perfect run. But we are covering a lot of distance. Dude, let's kill those fucking birds with my car. This is the best. I know! I'm having so much fun. Wham! 
go, go, go. Look out. Look out, my pretties. <laughs> Wham. Oh, I didn't, I couldn't get my spoils. This, I guess this is a no spoiler stream. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, horse. Wait. <laughs> and... Get on fire, idiot. Oh man, the fucking moral choice decision I have to make. Car or horse? I do want a horse. Oh! Wait. Oh, no, we're good. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Let's go, buddy! My new friend! Um, let me go ahead and mark this location as a death camp. Because we will want to... Wait, no, like a goblin camp. <laughs> I think death camp is something else. Uh, let me, uh, here. Huh. Oh, shit! What the fuck just happened? What happened? Hello? God got mad, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so I didn't mark the right place. All right, so we'll come back and uh, beat the shit out of these goblins. Well, I mean, I don't think this horse is really going to go anywhere now that we've uh, soothed it and made friends with it. What do you think? I mean, this is the game. Here. He will. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh, now watch this. Can we attach a wing to it? Oh, come on. Start laughing. Go, ha, 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 ha. Wonderful jokes, Jason. Damn, he's not gonna. I love that. I love the wing effect. Okay, horse is still here. All right, let's, let's fucking, let's throw down. <laughs> um, here's a question. Where's my sh Okay. Get the shield out. Oop. Hold on. Oh, we gotta, like, we gotta set up a lot of stuff here. I wonder what putting a wing on a shield would do, if anything. Shit. No! Oh, God, wrong. <laughs> this is a disaster. Oh, never mind. That actually worked in my favor. Shit. No, the horse is gone! Oh, no. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Stop! Come back and face me, coward! Okay, the, okay, the horse is just getting away. That's fine. The horse is just getting to safety. We're still good. The horse is still my friend. Horsey is a friend of mine. Okay. Horsey is my friend.
Come on, come on, come on. Stay with me, buddy. Stay with me. Are you gonna- wait, are you gonna run? No, actually, you like me now. You like me now. Here, we should just find, like, a stable or something. What- why is that looking like fox searchlight pictures over there? Oh, wait! Is that a- wait, 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 wait. Is that a stable? No, I thought it- I thought that was a stable. I wonder if we can, like, spot a stable from here. No. Damn. Alright, well, I still haven't finished this outpost yet, so let me get to a better vantage point here. I just wanted to make sure the horse didn't go too far. I do hate that it's raining. Because that's going to make this whole situation very awkward. Name the horse My Little Pony because it's a horse and it's yours. I like the way you think. I can't say I'll go for it, but I like the way you think. I wonder what I can do here. I was like, I, I was not uncrouching. Oh, they don't have the very, like, easy, simple, like, hanging, exploding barrel that'll just, like, take care of everybody in the outpost in one shot. Oh, it's literally just this guy. Cool. Okay, let's grab that chest, and then uh, I'll consider this done, and we can get out of here. Two chests! Uh, oh, please do something good. A moblin sledge! That's, uh, that seems decent. We'll go ahead and replace uh, the broadsword. Sure. And... He was taking refuge from the rain. Yeah, but he didn't take refuge from uh, my rain of arrows, so... Kind of his own fault. Come on, horsey! Let's go! Such a good pal. To the blue. God, the the rain is intense right now. Is it just me or is this like a much more kind of like intensive rain effect than than in uh the first game? Like cuz you have like you got like the wind effects everywhere and it's like they, they put a little more effort into, like, the sky itself because you're going around the sky. I don't know. It might just be placebo, but I'm really liking this. <laughs> with, the with the power of the Nintendo Switch, we can render three rains, four rains, eight rains, as many rains as you would ever want. N Nintendo's Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Tune in now in Nintendo Treehouse. Yeah. For your Nintendo Direct. Oh man. It's it's kind of crazy how like Oh! Ah! Horse! Big horse! Let me let me let me go! Let me go! Hello! Everything will get wet! You don't say. Very cool. Uh, we're open, rain or shine. Hello. Ah. Thanks for coming in such bad weather. Ooh. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Uh, seems you're not a member yet. Mm. Our stable uses the Stable Association's membership system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask your name? Zelda. Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. We're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? I already know. Oh. 
Is that so? Well then, once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counters inside. Now, how can I help you? Register. Ooh. My first horse! Understood. So you want to register. Huh? Now, according to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. Oh, yeah! Just, uh, go ahead and register any horse that had your name on it. Come talk to me later if you want to take them out. Now then, once again, want to register this horse here? Oh, shit! I have a... I have a... I have Blast and, and Class in my game now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. I have no money. I don't even know if I can do this. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, thank God. Okay, they're going to let me do it for free. Thank you. Well, let's move on to the registration process. First, please enter a name for your horse. Oh, man. All right. Well, now I got to keep going with this naming scheme. Because in my, in my Breath of the Wild save file, I had Blast Class. And now... Flask. <laughs> Shit, that's not how you spell flask. Yes. Oh. Name registered. You want to take it with you or board it? Let's board it. Let's look at my other horsies. <clears throat> oh. Your horse is safe with us. Thanks for using the stable. Aww. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how many points work. This is the best game they ever did. What the fuck is pony points? Pee pee? What? Ooh. That's right. It's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use the service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. They have a loyalty reward system called pony points in the video game. Not only are we celebrating your first use of Riverside Stable, but you've also registered a horse, so you get two pony points. A fucking pony points card! Oh my god. Using a stable earns points, collecting points, grants rewards, points needed for the next reward one. Oh. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Mm. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Oh. Come back again anytime. Oh my god, I have to see. Will they show me what I can get? Please. Oh. Ah, yes. I'll be right with you. Mm. Let's get your pony points reward, right? Save up just one more oh. point. You'll receive a towing harness. Very useful item. You can use it to hook things up to your horse. To You can use it to hook up your horse to various things. We appreciate your patronage. Oh, shit. Need the ledger. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Okay, so we can't see, like, the whole catalog. So we have to just keep doing it. Oh, my God. But that, that sounds really cool, actually. You can attach a horse to vehicle. All right. Let's get another pony point. Oh, shit. We don't have money. We don't have any fucking money. Here. Who are you? Everything will get wet. Oh. Hello there, I... Oh, oh my. I don't know what to say this properly, so I'll just come out with it. You strike me as an extraordinary fellow. I should know. I was once a marvel of a man, strong as an ox, training hours a day to master the ways of war. Then my life took a left turn. I took an arrow to the knee. I ended up here hawking my wares on the side of the road. Well, no matter how rusty my sword skills get, I'm still a good judge of people. That was probably more backstory than you wanted. <laughs> Sorry about that. I suppose I just got caught up in your aura. Oh, he likes me. Now, back to business. I've moved on to the merchant life, after all. I can assure you that I offer great prices. Ah. Change your mind, just give me a shout. Yeah, we don't have anything to sell after we sold that ruby once. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's take out a horse. Oh. Yes, take out a horse. Oh my god, wow. That's the most speed. They're all the same speed. Class has more strength. Blast has more pull. Oh shit, Flask has more pull. Oh, I guess I guess pull is probably a new stat. Oh my god, that's so cool. You can I am about to, I'm thinking you can make a fucking horse drawn carriage now, and that is so exciting to me.
Okay, so we're definitely gonna do... We're gonna take class out, because class is the, the best non-pull horse here. With a gentle temper temperament. And he loves the idea of pulling a wagon. Been saying this! Girls love wagons. Is this not... Is this not a universal thing? Ooh. Mm. Yes, I know about whistling. Yep, yep. Mm. Got it? All right, cool. Hello, class. Oh, shit. Wait. My marker is right here. Oh, it's across the, the river. We can, we can ride class a little bit. Let's go. Oh, what are these back here? What have you got going on? Oh, blessed rain. <laughs> oh, a well. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my god, this is so... This is so Dragon Quest. I can't, I fucking, I love jumping down wells because it's so Dragon Quest. This well. Water quality, fair, moss growth, extensive, bright caps present. All right, that's everything jotted down. Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? <laughs> a lucky course. I was literally just talking about how much I love wells in video games. I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. <laughs> wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Oh my god, she's just like me. Well enthusiasts, just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. Wow. My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Oh. And no more, no less could possibly have been made in the time that those tomes were written. Uh, sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me any well locations you know oh. of? I'll reward you, of course. Uh, how does 10 rupees per location sound? Oh my god. Uh, you got a deal. <gasps> really? That's fantastic! All right, then. Tell me everything. Wait. Oh, my God. Now we can get the next pony point. Thanks. So two of them this time. I'll give you 10 rupees per location. That's 20 rupees total. All yours. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all these wells. Let's see. How many left across Hyrule? Oh, there's still a total of 56 to find. Oh. You can find wells all over the place in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. <laughs> Just imagine, they were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Huh? Oh, I'm going to look out landing next. There's a well there I want to see. So if you learn more about well locations, meet me there. See you around. Where are the wells? I'm so... That is so silly. I cannot believe it. I'm so happy. Why is all this shit here? I wonder. She seems well informed. There you go. That one's for you. You, you earned it. Huh, okay. Just making sure I was uh, well acquainted with the situation. <laughs> that was too long. <laughs> what the laugh track? Should uh, should I have gone more like a? Anyway, let's get a pony point. Hello. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh. Yes, I want to lodge. A Melania bed. Is that just the soft bed? What's a Melania bed? Mm. 
So we don't, not only wake up more energized, Melania the horse god may also share a mystical message. <laughs> Makes it a very popular choice among our lodgers. We don't offer such luxury to just anyone. Only customers with these seven bony points can use a Melania bed. That's so much cooler. Now then, once again. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's do a regular bed and oh. spend all of our money to get another pony point. Uh, let's wake up in the morning. Oh. Fresh, fresh new day. Melania's back. I literally, I have no clue who Melania is. Oh. I did sleep well, thank you. Present you with one point. <laughs> yeah! Oh. oh, looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. You want to get your reward? Step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger, then call me over. Mm. Go back again anytime. It's literally, you could have just come over here. <laughs> Receive the reward. Ah. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. Let's get your pony points reward, right? Oh. The reward for three points is a towing harness. A durable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow. Mm. That's so cool! Harness is a type of horse gear that you can attach to various things. For instance, a wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. You save up just two more points. Oh. The horse god fabric will be yours. That's a one of a kind item you can bring to the Hateno Village dye shop over in Nakluda. We appreciate your patronage. Oh my god, I can't wait to see if they've done anything cool with the with the dye shop. That's definitely gonna be uh, a priority in terms of stops we make. Yeah, Hateno Village is gonna go wild. I know. I really wanna go check out like some of the other some of the old Breath of the Wild landmarks. Yeah. Fashion is high up on the list. That's what I was saying. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I need to reach my way. Oh. Ah. Where are they? Oh. Yes, let's find out. Oh, my point and I got separated. What the fuck? My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Ah. I'm so tired though. I can't move. <laughs> wait. Wait. Attach <laughs> the... Carry this thing. <laughs> Come on. Come on, class. Come on, class. How do I use the... How do I use it? Are oh, you talk to the stable guy? Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm literally just gonna attach this Korok to the... <laughs> to the harness if I can. Let's see. Hello. Ah. Oh. Uh, customized horse. Oh, cool. Oh, wait. Well, now oh. we should um Wait, 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 wait. Mm. Now we should switch our horses. Oh. So let's switch to Flask because Flask Flask has better pull. Mm. Is your horse scared of the Korok? I think it's scared of me. Oh. It's scared of the Ultra Hand, I think, specifically. Oh. Uh, 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 yes, attach mm. a harness. Oh. Oh. Cool. Mm. Horses that have lots of stamina can run at top speed for a long time. However, they can't turn well when they're running at top speed. Yours can turn sharply and more likely to hit up. Obstacles, okay. Ooh. That's right. Have you already been to Kakariko Village out east? Kakariko Village is located between two steep mountains, so visitors to the village used to be few and far between. However, ever since the distinctive ring-shaped Zonai ruins landed there, things have been pretty lively. Oh, cool. Hey. Unexpected, uh, rumor. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, Mr. Korok. Oh god! Oh 
Pokemon, what are you doing? No. no! Oh, man. Oh, wait, hold on. Really quickly, I want to actually check if um my capture settings are still the same. Yes, they are. Okay. Color-wise, at least. All right. Is this going to work? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> we can literally just... All right. Get comfy. <laughs> Let's go. Wee! Oh no! <laughs> Oof! It's fine. It, he's got a he's got a big cushion backpack. Oh no! <laughs> Oof! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. All right, what's our, uh... oh no, is that not like a, oh, it's, I don't think it's a straight shot. Oh, we might actually have to, oh, hold on, we have to go back. Uh oh, sorry, 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 Flask. I just called you class, I forgot we switched you out. Come on, Flask. I'm not doing this on purpose. Uh... I actually didn't think we had to go all the way down there. Huh. Guys, this is fine. He's fine. He's just saying oof, okay? Because it is a little problematic, but it's not like he's getting that hurt. You're not getting five stars. <laughs> but I but I do my job to see sights around the city and help people in this troubling time of 2023. And I and I and I don't I don't do conversation with any of my writers unless they initiate it first. Please. He has an appointment, Penny. It's the maps, okay? Their system is backed up. It's my GPS, it wasn't leading me the right way. back here what hey guys what if your uber driver did this would you give them five stars hey what the hell ah! okay fine Of that game, motherfucker. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> Let's boo boo! <laughs> All is well. bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Yeah. Bye. Oh god, he killed my horse. <laughs> Why do they keep doing that? Every time I help them, they they take something I love away from me. Okay. Uh let's eat that. They shouldn't have tipped you. I'm doing my best, okay? I got the job done. They got there on time. Sure, they're a little bit bruised and they like don't really remember who they are anymore, but like, whatever, man. Who does in this day and age? Bird murder. Man, did I just get drumsticks for that? If you minus two that, you're banned. Oh, 
Oh, it's... Oh, I see. Blast, look out! Oh, no! You can you can minus three it because at least it in that in that case it like meant something to you you know. Fuck. I should go. Oh, I should go grab those. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you too. You're gonna be a problem. Oh my god! Oh, that worked! Yes! Come on. Get over here. I want to see what those do. What if I attach those to a sword? <laughs> Would anything happen? Oh man. It's all, it's all dim and gray outside. The sky ate something that made its teeth go gray. Freaking contraptions. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe this. I cannot fucking believe this. Why did I think the rock was gonna be buoyant? Oh my god, why did I think the rock was gonna fucking float? Oh my god, I cannot believe I didn't even consider that. I'm so mad. I don't know what you expected. I, okay, I can tell you, I expected it to float across. Can I tell you why I expected that? No, but I can tell, I can tell you what I expected. You know what I expected. Everything else is, is up, is between me and God. Here, I'll just do this. Oh, I can at least pull that out of the water. <laughs> Wait, I want to do something really fucked up. Hold on. Hold on. Just take it as far as possible over there. Is this anything? <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna... This is gonna be nothing. Fucking increase speed. I don't think this is gonna do anything, but I wanna try. It's not, it's not doing anything. <laughs> that's, that's actually doing nothing. It looks funny. It looks funny, but it's not doing anything. Let's go. Oh my God, this game is fantastic. Scott here, what on earth are you doing with this poor horse? Science! The day we- the day we're not allowed to do science with a horse is the day that human progress is dead. I think. 
don't actually know. I don't follow any scientific journals. I'm having a lot of trouble with this right now. I thought we were rejecting science. Yeah, but that's before we got into the game. What's this? Sky Shroom. Oh my god! Almost immediately punished. I know you're there. I know that's you. Damn. But which one of us was stronger? <laughs> Hold on, I want to try something even more fucked up. Wait, actually, no. Hold on, I need this on. Wait. I just, I want to, I want to test the limits of kind of like how... Wait. Like how things interact here. <gasps> Whoa! That wasn't what I was trying to test out, but now we know. Cool. Uppies too. Ow! Stop. leaving. Oh, you, like, moved around. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting harassed! There you are. What? No! Oh, thank god. What? Oh, there are multiple of them. That's why. Two of them Tuesday. Um, it's Friday. Just finished watching the first part. What did I miss? A lot of science um, and this shit. Man, they don't leave me alone. They, le they legally have to leave me alone. <sighs> Do you think they know? Do you think anyone told them? Hey, so like... I was pretty positive this was where the crazy pattern that I saw was. I'm starting to... Doubt that. I don't know. Let's do some climbing. Could die from the islands again and see where it's at, yeah. Yeah, I could I could I could mark it from the sky. But I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Listen, I think the only reason I think this game is good is because Sonic Frontiers got me used to the idea of seeing a bunch of floating shit in the sky in a naturalistic environment. So really, this game has Sonic Frontiers to thank for it being as good as it is. I am kidding, by the way. It's, like, not even a thing. It is very... It does look Frontiers-esque in an interesting way. Okay. Mm. I was right. It's here. What is this? This is the right spot. Okay. I was, I was just a little... A little off with my exact placement. What the fuck is this? Also, what the fuck is this? Oh! Hmm. 
you doing? Okay. Weird, okay. I mean, it was pretty clear that was a Korok. I just like, what was the, <laughs> what was the game there? All right, let's see, let's see what this is all about. I'm very curious. I think we're going the right way here. Yeah. Yeah. What's the deal with this airline food? Here, I gotta turn a lamp on in my room. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to develop deep depression <laughs> if I don't get some light going. Hold on. Ooh. Fireplace or candle? Let's do candle mode. What the fuck? Ew! It's like goopy. Ew, why is it goopy? What is this? What am I looking at? Yeah, actually, the candle is, is flickering too much. I'll we'll just put it on normal warm tone mode. And he discovers nature. This is Kobo Dustia. What the fuck? Whoa. Is this a tier? A tier of the kingdom? What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting it to be like this. <laughs> Hi? Hello? Okay! I guess this is happening now. Hyrule will bow down before me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does Nintendo render these videos out at such a low bit rate? <laughs> It's more than we thought. It's a swarm. There are so many. Of what? Them. Zelda? Hi. What is going on? I don't know if I should have done this right away. Hello? Who is she? What is happening? So brute force will not be enough. What the fuck? The secret stone of the Zona. <laughs> How interesting. 
Okay. Cool. That was really cool. So it's like, I yeah, so it's like the memories from the first game where we'll have to, um... We simply will have to find these and put them in order <laughs> as to uh, put together the story in a more sensible way. Wow. Yeah, memories. That was number six. Okay, at least we know. Very cool. All right. <laughs> Wow. <gasps> Shit. Shit. Oh, am I gonna be fast enough? Please. Please, come on. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be enough. You know what? I think we're gonna have to get like upgrades for our pad or whatever. Or no, that's not coming from the pad. That's coming from the hand. I wonder. I wonder if we can get like power upgrades. Whoa! This is like on the map now. What the shit, man? So cool. Can you not do it repeatedly? No. Um, it won't go any further. Let's see. All right, well, I guess, honestly, I don't wanna, I don't wanna venture too far out from the beaten path right now. I think um, having this, I think j for the beginning here, as we're kind of setting up our overall like gameplay loop and like the collectibles and everything, um, I want to keep along the quests right now. And I think there will most likely be a point where it's like, oh, all right, now it's like super duper free reign to do like whatever, whenever, right? Um, mm -mm. The map is not smaller than Breath of the Wild. No, it's, uh, it's a lot bigger. Um, vertically horizontal or like or like uh on the on the z axis the x and y is still uh still basically the same map in terms of size but um there's there's a lot more verticality to it so let's uh let's go let's go talk to robbie and do this this cave thing has anyone seen the speedruns for Tears of the Kingdom yet? Apparently they're down to like two hours or something. No, <laughs> I don't want to be spoiled. Okay. Woo! Let's go. Was it a, like this thing right here? Yeah, oh, totally. This is so cool. I wonder how much forward momentum we actually have when we're gliding like this. It doesn't feel like a lot. Can you play The Witcher 3 at some point? I will. I absolutely will. I've been meaning to. I want to play. I want to play The Witcher. I want to play Cyberpunk. I want to play just just a bunch of shit. I want to play um, probably as Let's Plays because streams. Honest to God, I feel like I have enough stream content to last me for like the next two years, and that's not even counting new releases. Hyrule Field Chasm. 
Oh, there he is. I'm dead. No, traveler, don't do it. If you touch that, well. Get out of it. <laughs> what are you doing? It'll sap your strength and you'll end up like me. Too sluggish to move. Okay. He just stands there listening to him. Ow! <laughs> Let's do this shrine before we meet up with Robbie. I'm, it's, there's too many things to distract me. You're the second streamer I've seen get flashbang by an up close pin. Who is the first? Shape rotation. Love that. Um, oh, and of course it goes into the square hole. Um, are we about to do some shape rotation, guys? Guys, I'm thinking we're about to do some shape rotation. I don't know, call me crazy. Wait. Damn it, I thought it went into the square hole. That's not a square hole, that's a rectangle. See if Penny knows her shapes. I've known my shapes for a very long time, okay? I graduated preschool like a week ago. So like, I'm a bit ahead of the curve, let's just say. Okay, what is this one? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I think you got me. It's probably a square, too. Hey, I'm really, really mad about what's happening here. What's going on? Oh, I'm just not supposed to bring this one over. It's not supposed to come over. <gasps> Two. Nope, it was Triangle Latisse. How am I supposed to know that? This is literally like, this is, this is, this is babies. <laughs> like, am I, am I crazy? I'm playing with babies toys. Oh, this will actually be fun. Wait, first things first. <clears throat> ah, this must be an optional chest of some kind. Shit. Oh, wait. Quick remedy without having to undo the work I just did. <laughs> Literally, I cannot fucking believe how cool this is. <laughs> Puppies cheated. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Alright. Who needs to think when you get an octo balloon? Exactly. Been saying this. And now we just put this here. Wait. Or something like that. I don't know. Ah! I almost 
almost just died. Oh, I see. I think. Hey, what? Listen! Not this part, okay? <laughs> they made this part a little bit harder, alright? Whatever. It's like, not even a thing. God. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, cool. Anyway, uh, dungeon for babies. Whatever. I'm out of here. And you will never learn how to rotate shapes now? When have you ever needed that in your life? You, you think I need to learn what goes in the square hole to do taxes? I don't think so. Penny, you miss the cubing ability by doing that. Oh, shit! Writing is a form of shape rotation. Yeah, you're, you're rotating all your little characters and blurbos in your head constantly. You're absolutely right about that. I wonder if Robbie is okay. Oh shit, Robbie's just down there already. Oh, whoa! Hmm? Hey, what's the big deal? You can't just walk up behind somebody who's standing on the edge of a chasm. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Oh? Don't startle me again. I'm very busy with my investigations no matter how much I prefer to be in bed right now. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Oh my god, no way, no way, no way, no way. No way. The depths. All right, they've got me in the fucking freaking depths. How far did Robbie go? I guess we'll find out. Let's go. This is so cool! Oh my god. Literally, like, this is definitely, as as much as I think the, the world design of, um, of Breath of the Wild was amazing, this kind of, like, added verticality, I think, was sorely needed. Because, like, well, because here's the thing, is that the original Breath of the Wild map was extremely vertical anyway, because everything was made out of, like, gigantic mountain peaks and hills and stuff, right? And, like, that's the reason why the paraglider was even a thing. But, there, you know, there were no caves. There were no, like, 
I mean, I guess the Sky Islands is a very particular thing that not many people were really actively, like, asking for, but, like, th there were no caves. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm so glad there are, like, caves and dark underground segments now. This is, like, this is what this, this entire structure was missing for certain. It just adds that extra layer of, like, just discovery and, like, kind of, you feel like you're, you're, plundering in a in a cool way feel like a tomb raider in a sense no fucking way oh my god it's actually the elden ring thing oh my god wait no way no fucking way oh my god i was right it's a whole nother map oh my god no way no way i was wondering because i was like wow i'm like i'm able to walk around a lot in this area and then i saw that like just around here i could like see like glints of other things in the distance and i was like wait a minute let me check the map i cannot believe this oh my god this is so cool i'm already seeing 100 hours on this game yeah i okay so Here's, here's the thing that I'm struggling with. The way that I did my first Breath of the Wild Let's Play way back in 2017 was I played like 90% of the game on my own time. And then I just did like the main story stuff on stream, which looking back was a really, really awful way to do it. Because the game, the original game wasn't really about the main story stuff, right? It was about all of the extra shit that you'd like run around discovering. And so I had a great time playing the game on my own time, but that that original playthrough really suffered from my sort of lack of motivation to stream the parts of the game that were less campaigny, right? Um, so I definitely want to strike a strike a better balance and lean towards streaming my entire experience with this game. However, this game is also turning out to be monumentally big. At least that's the impression I'm getting. There's going to be a lot here. And I've also heard from, you know, just people in general that like, yeah, this game's crazy big. It's like, like double the size of the first game at least, right? Because that's what I've heard. Um, and I'm wondering, like, how much I should strike that balance. And that's going to be something I, I mean, I, I really don't feel like there could, there can be, like, a definitive answer without, like, uh, without just feeling it out, without playing it. Because it's not like I know all of the stuff I would be discovering if I were to play on my own time, right? I can't say, oh, I won't. I won't go over here because this cool thing is over here. No, I wouldn't know. Like, there's no way of knowing that. Any soyge light root? What the fuck is a light root? What is going on? Okay, hold on, hold on. Give me a sec. Let, let me finish my thoughts here. Um, asking other people recording the game might help. Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I don't really think so. Anyway, here. So, so, rest assured. I think I am definitely going to stream like. My main play sessions playing this game are likely going to be on stream. I think one way I could do it if I were to try and come up with like a structured way of tackling this game um, while still allowing myself to play a little bit off stream um, would probably be to do the thing that I did between last night and today where I, you know, I, I streamed and discovered this area of the map and I discovered a bunch of shit and then... Off stream, I went back to the island that I had already been to, and I just I just found the shirt and I did some stuff there. And I'm thinking that might be a way to do it. Yeah, off stream, if I just like limited myself to areas that I've already been to and just do like cleanup, like you know, find wells and pick up chests and and do outposts and stuff. I feel like that could be a, that could be a way to do it. Um, 
because I, I would like to be able to play this game like portably because I'm going to be honest, I pulled out uh, my Switch OLED from the dock today and I looked at the game on the screen and it looks really, really good on the OLED screen. And something about playing like a new Zelda game on that OLED um, just felt right to me in handheld mode. Um, I think this game hits like crazy in handheld. Um, or at least I, I think the first game did. Um, which is weird because you wouldn't expect that from like a big adventure kind of game. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's, I'll, I'll keep going in just a second. Sorry, I don't mean to stall. I was just, I, it's something I've been thinking about today. Um, especially hearing how big the game is because <sighs> Final Fantasy 16 comes out in like a month. <laughs> and like I'm, and I'm streaming that too. So we'll see. I mean, God forbid this game takes me a month to beat, but I don't know. We'll see. Hey, you! It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. It was one of the few sources of light, the glowing root. Did this guy write down Hey, you in his journal? The glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Uh, anyway, I'm off to the glowing root I see shining west of here. We'd better hurry up and get moving. He has a fun writing voice, yeah. Uh, speaking of voices, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm gonna limit my voice acting tonight. Uh, Cause every time I voice act something tonight, I, I feel like my head is about to explode. <laughs> like I genuinely, I can feel just like the exhaustive like pressure in my head just save it for the main people it's fine yeah may maybe like maybe not even that for this stream this stream i'll have to take it a little easy for the rest of this because yeah it's um what is this whoa whoa oh cool so these are a way to kind of more easily light up areas i guess Do as much as you want and don't push yourself. Well, I think the ironic thing is that I'm actually going to have to push myself the other way around because I want to voice act everything. I'm a voice actor. I love voice acting. Whoa! Oh, that looks so cool. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. This is so cool. I cannot believe there are three maps. I also love, I love, 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 I love, love, love that they did not show any of this. This is completely new. I didn't fucking know this was here. Oh my God, this is amazing. Wow, okay, very cool. Let's... Okay, so our... Our marker is still over here. Let's go find Robbie. Oh, we talked to this guy. I neglected to talk to this guy because he seemed like a nerd that I didn't want to talk to. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Uh... But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Ah. Thought he was taking a short walk to that glowing area over there. And he just kept going. <laughs> and going. <laughs> Last I saw him, he was heading way out there off to the west. You have any bright bloom seeds with you? Uh, I don't. Give me some. Uh... Well, that's no good at all. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. It's incredibly dangerous to explore here without a light source. Damn it. I thought he was just going to, like, give me some and I'd get extra. Extra. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use too. These seeds all the time on the Zonai survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Cool. Oh. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off in the distance down there. Yes, I understand. You already told uh. me all of this. What are you doing? This time, Robbie grabbed me in such a rush that I didn't gather enough in advance. Why, why would they re-tutorialize that? I guess I, the game's also for kids, kind of. Like, I, you know, whatever. 
The game doesn't reward liars. Yeah, what the fuck? Don't they know? I'll leave it at that. I don't know what that means. Um. Okay, so he said he went off to the west. Oh my god, I'm feeling oh so fine. What the hell did you do? Deep Firefly, a multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. Oh, well now we understand what the, the glowing thing is about. Uh-oh. That sounded like combat music. No, not quite? Okay, what's this? Hey you, still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If I didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. And again, it's my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing heading west towards one of the glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. <laughs> Please, you were supposed to wait for me. You told me to meet you down here. I need you to do your Leon from RU4 voice for Link. Oh, you mean my Yoda voice? That's a little, uh... Little treat for you Jedi Survivor VOD watchers. Man, I'm gonna have to find time to play that game too. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Too many games are out and good. Too many games are out and good right now. This is so bad. <laughs> Whoa! That does a lot. Okay, that does a lot more than I expected. Really cool. <laughs> we need another video game crash. Yeah, give me time to catch up. I wonder what the giant bright bloom seed does. Whoa. Oh my God. That is giant. This is so cool. Oh my God. Okay. I wish you could attach multiple things to a single arrow. That'd be awesome. Okay, though. I'll, I'll, I need to count my blessings a little bit. Anyway, die. What did that... Oh my god, you're all the way over there now. Look. They look so cool down here! What the hell? Zonite. Oh, cool. An unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancient extracted energy from it. Wait. Oh my god. So this is the stuff that increases my, um, my, what is it? My construct power? problem. Why does this say, um, hold on. Oblin Fang. Why does this say Zonite power? Powered. Can I... Okay, I can't use this or anything. Interesting. What if I... Okay, so what was... Hold on. <laughs> One sec. Oh, it's just like a bunch of cool stuff I gotta... What is Moblin Fang? Is this just extra attack? Okay, I'll take it. Whoa! 
charge zonite. Nice. Oh, interesting. That is like a separate counter to it. Hey, I'll take it. Then I get a free bow anyway. This is so good. Wow, 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 wow. Look at how many funny, silly things I'm getting. Oh, and then I can... <laughs> Mineral deposits. More zonite? No way. Oh my god, man. Maybe the zonite power thing just gives you extra fuse attack power with zonite stuff. Yeah, I, I remember that kind of being the case that it described to me. I just didn't... I wasn't sure if there was something else going on with them, but I think... Yeah, I think that's just what it means. I don't know. I've never heard someone say the words mineral deposits with such glee. You ever, uh... You ever talk to an archaeologist? <laughs> see. No, not the giant one. Regular. Oh, geologist is better. Damn it. I was trying to think of what the word was. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, well. Pack it up, folks. Jokes are over. Hank Schrader. God damn it, Marie. The minerals. That's what he sounds like. some crazy underground wood. <laughs> Who are you? Whoa, hold on. Poke. Die. Die. ambient sound effect that played when that just happened fit very well with my horrifying realization of the fact that I just got nothing from doing that. Just the oh, wow. Damn, even one of these goes a long way. That's what I'm saying. They're crazy. Oh my god, I cannot believe how cool this is. Oh my god. That works really well. I wonder if attaching the wing like gives it extra speed and thus it does a little extra damage, maybe? Sophie! Hi! Thank you for the raid! Where will you be during random wasp event? I don't know. Um... I don't know. Hopefully away from the wasps. I guess maybe under like a large rock of some kind? Hello everybody! Welcome to Tears of the Kingdom. If you are sensitive to Tears of the Kingdom spoilers, Oh my god, leave right now. <laughs> but if but if you don't care, if you if you played enough yourself and you uh, uh or you just want to stick around. Hi everybody, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid again, Sophie. We are playing Zelda. Did you finally get a shirt for that beast? Absolutely, we did. Oh, uh, we got two. And actually, you know what? I'm sick of this fucking Hylian tunic. I spent all my money on it and I don't like it. I want him to look like a caveman. How long have you been in the depths? Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it. It's so cool. I, okay. I've been in here for like, we haven't even found Robbie yet. Essentially. We haven't found the first, uh, like Robbie encounter under here. Um, oh, spoke too soon. There he is. Uh, anyway, so earlier in 
my previous stream of this game, I was literally like, oh my god. Are they going to do the Elden Ring thing twice over? Where it's not only just you have a surface and a depths thing. Or it's not just have, that you have a surface and a sky map, but you also have depths. Because I was noticing like hints here and there of them possibly having like underground areas and caves and shit to explore. And I was like, could you imagine if there is just secretly an entire underground map as well, like an Elden Ring? But then on top of that, there is also the sky map that we've known about since like the reveal of this game, right? Um, and I was fucking right. I was right. I cannot believe how big this game is going to be. I'm so excited. Random Robbie event. Iasus Light Root. I love the archaic outfit so much more than the Hylian outfit. I don't care if it's stronger. I'm too stubborn for that. I know, right? Listen. It's it's a classic adage. You can't fight crime if you don't look cute. Ace's Gaming Lightroot. This stream sponsored by the ROG Ally. It's not. Get a Steam Deck for the community support. That's my opinion. The light root dispelled the darkness and uh, did that. <laughs> Penny, what if they're watching? They can sponsor me. I don't mind. I'm just saying I would recommend purchasing a Steam Deck because the community support has basically turn that device from a novelty into a fucking mainstay of my, like, gaming rotation. Um, and also on top of that, it's cheaper. <laughs> so that it's what I personally prefer, but hey, I'd love to try an ROG ally. Seems really cool in its own right. Hello, Robbie. <gasps> what? Look at how bright that thing got. The light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Ah. Act it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. It's apparently slightly stronger hardware, but the software isn't good. It's it's slightly stronger at some higher wattages. It's re it's a lot stronger at the highest wattages, but actually at like 10 watts output, I think, the Steam Deck is still stronger. The Steam Deck is really, really good at being efficient with lower power draw, which is why it's able to be as powerful as it is in the form factor it has. Um, and not even the ROG Ally is like matching it in terms of like raw performance numbers at lower wattages. It's really, really cool. Um, just how well optimized the Steam Deck is. But yeah, it is more powerful at higher wattages for sure. Um, if you're like doing docked or whatever. Are we watching Linus Tech Tip? Um, that may or may not be where I got that information from, but uh, don't tell anybody. I was, I was literally just talking about Linus Tech Tips the other day, and I was like, Linus Tech Tips might be the YouTube channel I watch the most that I have not subscribed to. <laughs> I, I watch so much of their content, but I've never hit the subscribe button one time. <laughs> and it's good shit. I mean, it's good. I love watching Linus Tech Tips, but I refuse to watch any of his reviews because that man is so out of touch with consumer needs. I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. I don't, I don't get as much of an out of touch vibe but i can definitely see where you're coming from but i think you're gonna get that with a lot of like bigger tech review channels where they're just not in the, they're just not they're provably not in the same position objectively not in the same position as any like average consumer right um like even even channels who like advertise themselves as being like a consumer perspective once you pass a certain threshold it's like you can't, like, you can't realistically say you're in that position anymore. I, like, me, Penny Parker, I am not from an average consumer perspective. 
I have been privileged enough that my like career in this kind of like gaming, like tech space has allowed me to like have more opportunities to like invest in, in some weird, unnecessary tech shit that like just your average consumer couldn't justify because it's not an investment for normal people. Right. So like. Yeah, I don't know. So it's like, I, and, and the, the threshold is really small. So I definitely see where you're coming from. Um, it's one of those channels I put on when I need to watch something while I eat, but that's it. No, exactly. Like I get, I get Linus Tech Tips videos in my subscription or on my like homepage all the time, all the time. And I'm always like, oh shit, hell yeah. Something to watch while I eat this Subway sandwich. Anyway. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. Their new lab is extremely exciting to me. No, it's so, it's so cool. That video where they like fucked around with like the, uh, like the climate control box and they just put like a whole computer in this big box where inside it was like Arctic temperatures. <laughs> like, like that was really cool. <laughs> a statue. It's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Josha showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Oh, I'm getting spoiled, I gotta run. Oh shit, you haven't done this yet? Damn. CSOV, hi. Goodbye, I mean. <laughs> Very curious indeed given it's one of the Puripad's basic features. Hmm. Give me that Puripad for a second, all right? Oh. Well, there's the problem. Your camera's locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, press this while you pull this, and then you tap that. And... Cool. Okay, we, we have one more ability to get. Besides the Amiibo ability. <laughs> I wonder if I could, like, go grab some amiibo and, like, ah, boom. I should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. Go, so, go capture a picture of that statue. There's a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. He's jailbreaking your Pro switch. I legitimately, I wanna, I wanna jailbreak my launch model switch so badly. Joy said she can do it for me. I just need to get, I just need to find the SD card that I use in it. Cause there's no SD card in there. Okay. Hello. Landscape shot. Oh, right. How do you do the, uh, Shit. How do I do the poses again? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! Guys, how do I pose? Chat, how do I pose? Oh, never mind. It's the analog stick. Aww. Hacking your Switch is not as easy as the 3DS, sadly. The 3DS is extremely easy to hack. Long stick. I wish they had more poses. It's still just these. Give me a whole photo mode, cowards. Can I, can I like count this as a picture of the statue? Oh my God, wait. I want to so bad. I want to so bad. Oh, oh, come on, come on. <laughs> hey, you, how'd that go? This is just a fucking selfie. <laughs> You capture an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Why is he doing a sleigh pose? He's sparkling on. It's Wednesday. 
He's not forgetting to be himself. Whoa. So, did you get a good picture? No, but I got my picture. Look, sir. Oh. <laughs> That's stupendous! Absolutely slaying on this Wednesday night. Looks like you've captured it well. Sure, Joseph will be satisfied with this. Uh. He's so cute! Oh my god, lighting up that imminent root. Or lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of the statue. You just started helping us research what's, research what's down here. But soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Oh my god, that's so cool. All right. How many, um... How much zonite? How much zonite did I need for the the upgrade? I think one hundred. Yeah, that sounds right. Damn. Well. Uh, hey, that can be something I do off stream. Just like, just like grind for. For zonite and and other minerals and shit definitely be a way to spend some time without progressing the story or anything but as of right now on stream i think i'm gonna go back to look at landing just keep keep this uh quest momentum going You needed energy cells, which you make with Zonite. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, you're totally right. I remember that. I cannot believe this. Oh, this game is so cool. This game is so cool. <laughs> Hello. Come talk me. Come talk me. Success. Oh. Hey, you. Show Joseph the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. Aw. He likes my selfie. Here you go. <laughs> we can see it again. <laughs> this is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, the figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping me with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Hmm. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power. Like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman, <laughs> thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. So cute. Pray. Pose. <laughs> okay. Fine. Good. Yes. Once more. Slay, Queen. That one is called the Boca Bow? No shit. Oh my god. No way. Um, spoilers? What the fuck? Sorry, I went from being enamored at your discovery to being really mad for you saying anything, and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, where's uh, where's the well lady?
Where's that girl who likes wells? Oh, do we have enough of these? I don't think so. Shit, only two. Go away. You don't have any. Get out of here. Do more content. Oh god, she should know I never do the content. The lady said she was going somewhere, didn't she? Yeah, she said she was going here. <laughs> Which is why I'm looking for her. Gotta find her, gotta find her, gotta find her, gotta find her. Ruby! Oh! She's definitely in this well over here. <laughs> there she is! I found a new well that I can tell you about. This one. Ah, hey, it's you! I'm fascinated by the many old wells across Hyrule, but new wells are pretty interesting too. Like this one. Huh? Oh, have you come to tell me about the location of more wells you found? Yep, got more for you. Ma. Thanks! So, this one. The one we're both standing in? Yeah. You're telling me you found this well and you want to tell me about it? Yeah. Okay, thanks. I'll give you 10 rupees for location, so here's 10 bucks. <laughs> Cutie. All right, uh, oh. there's 55 left. Baba boo. If only there was some sort of tool for searching things. Like a search engine. You ever heard of chat GT, G, GPT? I don't support such industries. What? Chat BLT. <laughs> Chat CBT. Oh no. Chat BBC. Ooh, very cool. Hold on. Get out of here, thick stick. It yields a powerful flurry rush during a perfect dodge. Noted. Yo, I love how they have cool little effects that they talk about there. <laughs> Did you just come out of the river? Oh my god, you're like a little fishy. <laughs> what, if, what if she just like thought that Link was just like so cute? I don't know why, I'm just enamored by this idea. I, I love well, girl. I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah, but no, but I mean like in the way that like, uh, oh God, that one character, the, the director lady from, <laughs> from Bojack Horseman thinks that Todd is super cute. What's her name? I can't remember. What is this? Why did I put this here? Oh, it's a journal. I remember now. All right, well, God, what next? I kind of want to... I guess we could do regional phenomena. We can maybe... No, actually, not yet. I want to make my way to Kakariko and Hateno. I'm very nostalgic about these locations. The older lesbian lady? Yeah, the, the film director. <laughs> The one that's the one that's always like, oh, who's who the hell is this guy? Look at his little cheeks. He's so cute. Can it, somebody get this guy a cookie? That's really fucking funny. It's like one of my favorite running jokes in the entire show. God, I like, can't remember her name at all. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so it's this way. So what I'll what I'll do 
is I'll mark this tower and this one. I like that show. Me too. Okay, so I think we're just gonna we're gonna make our way to the red tower and that's that. Oh shit, I'm curious. Is this the stable? This is the shape rotation shrine. No, that's not the stable. Was there a shrine near that stable that we found earlier? Oh, shit. No, here's flask. This is the stable. Oh. There wasn't like an immediate shrine nearby, at least not that I noticed. Or maybe I just didn't do it. Okay. Well, let's, um... All right, we'll just make our way to the red. Uh, and now we have technology, though. <laughs> oh, and they, they spawned. They spawned again. Cool. Let's, let's make another car. Hmm. A car is going to be problematic here. Wait! Oh my god! I... Is, I... There's... Uh, just a, a much better idea. <laughs> I, I forgot. <laughs> we have the sky. Have we seen anything major story-wise since last stream? Um, I found like a memory of something that seemed pretty major, but the context the context is minimal because it was like memory number six out of eighteen or something like that. So it really, like, made no sense whatsoever. Okay, I gotta go. Otherwise, no, not really. We're kind of still just exploring. Well, yeah, we did find uh, the depths. I don't know if you want any elaboration on what the depths is or if you already saw the depths. But uh, we did find the depths. All right. Where's my, where's my pin? Oh my god, it's like, it's like really close. Okay, I gotta go, I'll die. The depths? Yeah, the depths. Uh, it's an entire, like, third map. Surprise, the game is fucking huge. Wow. Just just the empowerment of being able to do stuff like this so early in the game is second to none. This experience is like no other. This doesn't come with a, uh... Oh, so they don't all come with, like, whole settlements. They really are just towers. Cool. I don't mind. Oh, hello. Hi! A bird person! Yeah. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? Oh. My apologies. Looks like we have a small problem over here. What's going on? Ooh. I heard of the terminal at the Skyview Tower it needs repairs, but... Or so I came to fix it, but uh, the door won't open. I'm no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge no matter how hard I push or pull. Of course, I know it's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. Uh, I worked up an appetite getting my brain into gear for this. I bet the nearby caves would have some tasty mushrooms. Caves? Oh. Yep. There are caves at the bottom of the hill. I used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time while we were building the tower. Hey, was that literally it? It's just... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, he wasn't kidding. Oh, wow. My apologies, the door won't open for some reason. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so it's not a recall thing. Huh, all right. Um, well, let's go to those caves, I guess. That was our, our, our first lead. Where the heck and fuck? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Come on. Oh! Thank you! Sorry I tried to kill you. Eyeballs. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. All right. What, what, what is this? Sashara's Sahasra Slope Cave. Okay. Generally, the only complaint I have with the game so far is the frame rates, which is more of a problem with the Switch rather than the game. Otherwise, I'm having a blast with it. Um, yeah, I would say the 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 less than perfect resolution and like upscaling issues as well as um well not really issues just like artifacts and you can tell like the resolution gets a lot lower when you move the camera that kind of stuff and also like the occasional drop in frame rate when you like are on a tree or something um is definitely one of my only complaints i would say in terms of the actual design of the game i definitely uh, I, I feel like it's tutorializing a little too much, which I know is weird to say because it really has been barely anything in the grand scheme of things. But you know, th there have definitely been a couple moments where I'm like, why'd you do that? <laughs> like, <laughs> but otherwise, um, I mean, th that's such a minor thing. And that's literally me really splitting hairs trying to find something I would even consider a criticism. Um, and even then it's not the most like, strong critique in the world or anything uh just like gut feelings so ultimately i'm super happy with this game so far um and also all that to say <laughs> hey what the fuck was that I think that just did like 20 points of psychic damage. What the fuck? Anyway, I was, I, all that to say, I was just gonna say, this game is gonna go crazy on the next system. Assuming it's backwards compatible. Stop, you're so fucking weird. Die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the fuck is going on, dude? God damn it. Oh god, there are two of them. I'm so mad. Here, you know what? Fuck this. Ooh! Ah! There are three! Oh god, there are not two, there are three. Okay, let's see. Let's do a meat skewer. <sighs> oh god, oh god, oh god. Jesus. Oh, try that again, I dare you. Well, he did. Fuck you. 
<laughs> oh, that's what's happening. His ass hurt. He ass hurt. Die. A blue horrible horn. He has pain. Okay. Uh, that was awesome. Okay, so before I finish up exploring this cave, I'm actually going to step away for a moment. Uh, I will be back shortly. Hello. I got the freaking fucking bottled water. <clears throat> All right. Oh man, that hit. Okay. <laughs> I just, uh, just took a big sip of that water. Die! Oh! Sapphire! What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. I thought that was something else. Hey, Peppy, how was Stretch? Um. A lot of it was spent not stretching. That was good. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Oh, shit! Damn, it's like a shield from the first game. I mean, let's just let's just get the bright cap shield out of here. I don't need that. That was that was just an experiment. Stretch now. The chat demands it. Maybe you can make these demands when I have like a like a channel point reward for like stretching, but I don't because you can't tell me what to do, and I have bodily autonomy. Okay, let me, let me eat up. <sighs> Dude, there's like so much, there's like so much rocks here. I wonder if there's a better way to do this. Hold on, let me. I think I can grab, what's this? Oh, that's my shield. Huh. I, I will say, I do miss the bombs. Th th that's like the one ability from Breath of the Wild that I actually do miss a lot is is having the bombs on hand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think that's happening. <laughs> that and stasis. I don't really miss stasis. I don't need stasis. If, if there are no, like, puzzles in the game that would require me to have stasis, I don't need stasis. Um, I think recall is a more interesting stasis. I don't mind that it's not here. Um, but the bombs are definitely... are definitely missed. For sure. Because, like, what what's going on here? Like, <laughs> what's this all about? Come on. Whoa. Hey, maybe I shouldn't be using this thing to break all these items. Hold on. Um. I, like, just got this, and it's, like, a really cool item here. Uh... <laughs> Hello, I'm back. What did you get from Subway? I didn't get anything from Subway. What? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, cool! Maybe they didn't like that you could use endless bombs to attack enemies? Well, they weren't really powerful for attacking enemies. They were kind of just good at, like... Making enemies fly all over the place, but they didn't do a lot of damage. Especially not on later enemies, but you you pass a threshold really early in the game where bombs aren't really super useful for damage. They're just kind of there to help, like, distract and stuff. 
Okay. Uh. Weird. That did not fix the tower at all. Whoa! Cool! Whoa! It's a big moving creature! Awesome. Whoa! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I see how I'm supposed to do this. I think. Watch this. Hold on. Oh damn. I was wrong. I thought I thought that was about to be really cool. Okay, noted. I, I I think that was a good idea. It was just not the way. It was not the way. Oh shit, the fairies are back. The game just told me. <laughs> uh oh. What? <laughs> what? You spawned me right there? I'm so mad, bro. Oh shit, I shouldn't have joined. Ah, spoilers. What did you expect? <laughs> this this stream is literally a bag in the fridge that says don't open dead pigeon. So mad. Here. Oh shit. Oh my god. Sorry, I was trying to time out somebody. I timed out the wrong person. Apologies. Yeah, Rad Jam! I added Rad Jam to my channel, by the way. That's like my favorite, uh, better TTV emote. Fuck off. Come on. Whoa! Hey, that works. Hold on. Let me heal. Hell yeah. Wait, we have a we have a decent like vantage point here. If I can just stay here generally. Shit, I don't have enough reach right here. Oh oh yeah, this is a great spot. No! Damn it. Okay. Uh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Light the grass on fire? Shit. Not enough. Not enough. Oh, it's because it's raining. Oh my god. Shit. Oh, I didn't realize. Damn it. Okay, this guy is not going to be much of a problem. For much longer here. There we go. Okay. Rain is the constant bane of these games. Yeah, but honestly, I don't mind that it's around. I don't. I really don't mind it. I think it's it's more interesting to have to work around it than it is than it would be if it wasn't here. You know. A lot of people like really complained about the rain in the first game, but I know ne I never fully. I mean, I get it. I get that it's annoying, but like that's the point. Rain is annoying in real life. You got you gotta have these little uh 
these little challenges here and there. Come on. Oh, 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 we're so close. We're so close. Uh, she's a long stick. That's not enough. That's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. There we go. That'll do it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. That was awesome. Got an opal, our first opal. Bunch of amber and rubies. What's this? What is this? Big heart? A stone talus heart. Cool. What does this do? Oh, cool. That's a that's a really powerful upgrade. That's really neat. I like that a lot. Okay. So now the question remains... What the fuck is up with this tower? I'm starting to think we might just have to come back. Whoa, what's this? Let's check on this one more time. I hate nature. That's something you gotta know about me. Whoa! Shit. Yeah, hey y'all, please like I know you know I'm not, I'm no I'm not like I'm not being super strict. Like if something is like like earlier, for example, I think someone was just like uh Oh damn, I can't even remember what the example was. Like, you know, there there are smaller examples of times where someone will like give me a, just like a tiny little tip or whatever, and I'm like, okay, cool, fine. If if it's like a super super small thing that does not have any sort of like exploration consequences or whatever, like, then cool. But like, please don't tell me the answer to like puzzles, like even if they're just exploration puzzles. Really should go without saying. <laughs> Seems you meet again. My apologies. Looks like you have a small. Okay, so that's still happening. Do you do you want your mushrooms? I thought you wanted mushrooms. Do I not have mushrooms? Maybe um. Hold on. Maybe there's just like more down there. Yeah, there's got to be something in here. Hold on. At the very least, I want to find the right mushrooms. Because, like, okay. There's all this. I feel like maybe there's, like, some connective tissue here or something. Oh, man. I really need, like, a... I need, like, a better hammer. See, this, this is the problem. Oh, here we go. Uh... I'll I'll do this with my long stick. It's really not gonna be enough, I think. Oh, well, I mean it's I can do some poking. I can chip away at it. Oh. 
Oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> There we go. It's a little better. Well, what do we, okay. What do we have in our inventory? There's, there's got to be something here that... Oh, shit! We have a bomb flower. We have one. I didn't even know we had this shit. Okay, hold on. That'll definitely help. And bomb. All right, let's see. Let's grab this. <laughs> God, you didn't see that, 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 you didn't see that. It didn't happen, okay? You were too busy being excited over the depths. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Did he do did he do the family guy death pose? That's funny. Here, let me um let's get rid of this fucking board guster. I don't need it right now. Okay, we have this. I just want to get into a good spot because like because I don't want to just explode the entrance and then that's it oh, so many rusty swords down here This is actually great because this is more stuff to fuse. Oh, this is this is gonna be a, oh this is much better. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. That's right. Much better. Woo! Delicious. Oh, oh, here we go. There's some new stuff. Oh, that feels so satisfying. That's so cool. Hello, hello. <gasps> no way. All right, it's fucking over now. Oh my god, there's so many! Here, I think... Now is about the time where I'll use the bomb through. The bomb fruit. Let me clear a path here so it's not getting stuck on anything. Because I don't want to be too close. Alright. Now... Who the fuck buried these? I don't think anyone did it intentionally. I think it's just the results of war. Yeah. 
There we go. Have another claymore? Cool. And some flint. Nice. This is what happens in war? Yeah, a bunch of swords go in roxes. Rox- roxes? I just said roxes. I'm fucking adorable. And also, I guess a Kingdom Hearts fan. Okay, what's going on down there? You! Oh. I'm, I'm genuinely like kind of 50% expecting that you're going to get to the end of the game and it's going to be like, there's like a major consequence for having killed all of these bubble creatures. <laughs> and in order to get the good ending, you have to like preserve them instead. So I guess we're, we're on a bad ending route. They shouldn't have been frogs. I know they're such kind looking little creatures. And the, and the way that the tooltip is like, you are compelled to like search for more. I'm like, oh wait, also I totally see what, I, I see what's going on. Watch this. Please, 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 come on. Oh, so close. I feel like there's something there. I feel like there's something to that. We gotta line it up. Can we? It's like, it's like right here. Oh shit, wait. Is it that? Hold on. Yeah! Oh, cool! Uppies! Nope, oh, not from this side either, but at least we can. Huh? How'd you get inside? Like this. That's not actually the answer, but... Oh, shit. Oh, it's the long sticks! Oh, that's so funny. That's so silly. Who fucking did that? Who did this? Oh, oh, it opened! How in the world did you manage to fix it? Long sticks. Uh, uh, can't believe a couple of sticks got them out. Wait, that was actually what he said. <laughs> Wonder if those were in there to begin with and just fell over somehow. Or if some monster did that on purpose. <laughs> Either way, that really helped. Thank you. Well... The mechanisms aren't working quite right. I'll just give them a bit of oil. Uh, Ta-da! It wasn't a big problem, so a little oil cleared it right up. Right, I'm gonna hurry on ahead, so this is goodbye. Aww. I wish we could have given him his favorite mushrooms. Here we go! What's up with the protags being streamer core as of late? I don't know. None of them has have been as bad as Ellie, though, because... I don't have the lesbian hive mind with the rest of them. But like, you're right, it's been weird. Maybe maybe I'm just turning into pro tag core from playing too much like media. Uh-oh. Oh, oh he, was, he was a lot calmer that time. He's used to it, he understands. Go, go, go! Yeah! I love that you have camera control when you're going up like this. Penny has officially played too many things. Oh, I crossed that threshold a long time ago. So cool. Wow. 
Wow. That's a big chunk. Yay. So cool. We got to we got to find more skylands to explore. Speaking of. Oh shit. There's one right here. New one. New one. Let's start from this little chunk. Just make sure I'm covering all my bases here. Don't want to miss anything. Keep missing the islands and dying. Are you using the paraglider? Cool! Oh, and it's a new dispenser. Oh, here we go. Whoa, and what's that? This is fucking awesome. Okay. All right. Well, here we are. Huh. Let's go ahead and save this rock hammer for later. Let's pull out my uh, Boko Reaper. Mm. <laughs> Give me the name. Give me the name. Oh. Oh, shit! Is this the Sky Archipelago? Oh, no. Wait, maybe. I don't know. I don't care. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? I can't see anything. <laughs> it's too foggy. Whoa! There's so much stuff even higher. What is this cool... Medieval tower looking thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the camera. Whoa, the camera. <laughs> Why is the camera like this? Weird. <laughs> okay. Well, now, now I'm self-conscious. How do you pronounce this word? Archipelago. And? It's pronounced Jeff. Good point. Eggs! Now we can make eggs! With the eggs we found. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> cool. Birds. The impulse to jump into the piston? Oh yeah. Believe me, I will. Alright, let's trade... some... Wow, we don't have a lot of charges left. Trade some... I, I guess it's because we, we haven't fought as many Zonai things. Uh, we haven't fought as many, like, constructs. Um, since we've been on the ground for a lot of the stream. Hello! Get in there. What's new? Pussycat? Oh. Cannon! <laughs> what?! Zonai device that fires shots in intervals. The shot explodes when hitting the target. It's a powerful device, but it can be tricky to get the firing angle just right. We get a gun? 
and a spring. Play a device that contracts and then expands with enough power to bounce objects away from it. No way. Another wing and a spring. Okay. Um. There's one more thing that we can get from this. I'll go ahead and add some horns to it. Maybe see if we can get that last one. Oh, yeah! Is that a bomb? Time bomb! Oh, oh, like a, okay, like a, like time bomb. Got it. Zonai device for a timed explosion. Its blast can activate other Zonai devices. That is so cool. Okay. Oh, man. I see. I understand. So now the question is, where to first? Clearly, over here. Let's go. Good to see you, my good friend. Uh oh. Hey. Oh, oh, Tobaz. Thank you, thank you. What looks the most valuable here? Everything else is about the same. There we go. Sage's will. A small stone believed to have belonged to a sage. Holding it in your hand, you can feel the remnants of a strong bond. What does that mean? Also, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. Hold on. I'm switching out my footrests. I've been using one that's like, like this big, like kind of woven like ottoman, and it's cool, and it allows me to kind of like rest my my legs more than just my feet, but it also doesn't let me sit nearly as close to my desk as I like. Um, and also it's just weird. It's it's got me feeling really cooped up. So let me just. Are your feet rested though? Uh, well now it's like mainly my feet, but also yes. materials do I have? Can I just like... I wonder if I can make just like a hammer out of like rock salt. Wait, shit. Shit. Hmm. Maybe like a, maybe something that'll work enough for these. It's doing something, kind of. No, it's doing nothing actually. What the fuck? Okay. So <laughs> rock salt against flint. Or luminous stone does enough friction to make fire. Okay. Noted. Get out of here. You suck. That's really cool. Life skills. Yeah, I can use all the skills that I learned in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom in my real life. Okay, we might have to come back here. Let me just add a... Uh, add a, a little mineral stamp. Wahoo! Okay. This would fix like 80% of my inner life problems. 
what, being able to make fire? I have this cool invention to tell you about. <laughs> it's called a lighter. Go. You can find them at Walmart. And hey, don't worry, you're not alone. Many cavemen were thinking the same thing for a very long time. But we managed. Lighter shaming? No, it's lack of lighter shaming. And he is a modern Prometheus. Many people have been saying this. Come on. Get real. Come on, get real. There we go. Oh, it's because it was right under a tree. Chickaloo tree nut. What the fuck? That was so delightful. That's a delightful thing to say. Penny sponsored by Big Fire? No, no Big Fire. Small fire for cooking meat. Big fire, bad. Big fire, dangerous. Big fire, kill my wife. What? No, what? <laughs> Not yet. Support, yeah, support your local fires. Durashroom, a rare yellowish orange mushroom. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your stamina limit. That's really cool. It's awesome. Will do. Mildew. Do it again, but die this time. Damn it. throw a, a, a leaf icon on there so I know there's a Korok there. <sighs> now let's head back to this thing. Oh. Can't forget the big hearty radish. That's right. Totally knew that was there. Didn't just get really lucky. If you can't make your own fire, store-bought fire is fine. No! Store-bought fire Big fire. Make fire small. Sticks, twigs. Leaves. Again, must reiterate, big fire kill wife. Small fire make hot pocket. I'm not married, so I will not have this problem. Sounded like a real Greek tragedy hero. This warning simply cannot apply to me, for I do not fully meet the criteria that the warning applies to. So I simply will disregard all of the wisdom involved. You're married and you just don't know it? Yeah, married to your ignorance. <laughs> Make 
fire put in freezer for later. <laughs> fire better the next day. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Okay, okay. Okay. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. I have energizing meat and mushroom skewer. And also, tasty mushroom skewer. It's not over, it's not over. It's not over, it's not over. No, no, it's not over. It's not it's over. It's over. It's over. Why did I I get back up <laughs> i simply cannot wait i totally could if i just um went back to this thing but now i'm at the pillars of levia you think i got time for that anyway let's keep exploring man i eat both of my uh stamina restoring mushroom the meat and mushroom skewers for that don't taunt me shut up <laughs> I'm not riding your stupid rock elevator, okay? It's never worked. Time to go cooking again? I mean, unironically, yeah. I need to cook more. Something, something, Jesse. Yes, okay. Just really, just really get it out of the way. Oh, the dragon. Oh, the dragon. I wonder if they're gonna make... <gasps> Oh shit! Is this Kakariko? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? What happened here? Makasura Shrine. It is Kakariko! They have a, they have a dragon hole! Many Tumblr users are jealous. Okay. Coming in hot! Whoa! What the fuck happened here? It, it looks like... Troubled. It looks like it's so chaotic. What the hell is going on? Hello? Mm. Good grief. It's Lady Pia's duty to take care of the village. But whenever I take my eyes off her... She's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. I... Huh? Oh. Who? Is that really you? Uh -huh. Link? Well, oh, it's been some time. It gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. Uh. Right now, too, while our chief is... Oh. I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Emperor, retired? Now Lady Pia is the chief of Kakariko Village? 
cool. I've been working as her assistant, but <sighs> Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Oh, cool! Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Zonai survey team. That ruin over there. Oh. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about her new responsibilities as chief. Would you do me a favor and stop by to see a lady, Paya? Absolutely. You don't even have to ask. Oh, shit! Hi! Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The way part of it floats up there. You have the foresight to focus on all these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh, I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Uh, oh no, I... I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me, rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to... Huh? Is that you, Master Link? <laughs> I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Hi, Paya. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Yeah, woohoo. What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. What? It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. What the fuck? She ordered us all to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does not look like it could crash down and or this ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect at least. Still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Oh, uh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please, allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ring runes that fell in our village. Ah. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. Hi. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that, we're for, that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each side. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slap that makes mention of the sages. I can't investigate, so that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again. I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? She must have some reason. Until we find out about Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Uh, yeah, but I, I I didn't hear any such thing. That's so cool! Taro! Let's, hey, let's take a look at Taro. One sec. Chat's loving Taro. An explorer whose passion for field research is unrivaled. He lives to make big discoveries and he spends a long time tra and he spent a long time traveling solo, investigating ruins. He's also an expert in reading Zonai writing. Princess Zelda found him to be the perfect choice for leading the Zonai survey team. He's so cool. What's this symbol? What is this? Oh, it's 
a it's a survey team base. Cool. What's up here? Journal? Yes. Kalip's journal. I don't know who this is. <laughs> While Taro and I were taking a break, he asked me, Hey, Kalip, what attracted you to join the Sonai survey team? A little flustered, I answered that I heard its research division was led by a brilliant man by the name of, of Taro. Because of you, essentially. Dude, chappy like. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart, I longed to continue. You're not like these other dullards, you know. You immediately grasp the breadth of my vision. Of course, no such thing passed my lips. But I'm certain that Taro and no one else is the man who can help the world see my indescribable worth. Last page. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me... Sorry, sorry. Hold on, let me... I want to make sure... Next page. Here we go. Our leader, Taro, has done nothing but surprise me since I joined the Zonai survey team. One day, I arrived at the research site to find him sitting on bare earth as he stared at a stone slab. I wished him a good morning, and to that, he turned to me and said, Ah, Kaleep, sorry. I didn't notice you. Working overtime today, huh? I thought back to the night before. As I was heading in, I saw Taro sitting on bare earth examining a stone slab. It hit me then. He had stayed up all through the night puzzling over the slab, never moving from his perch. I felt a profound envy of his ability to focus so completely that the passing of time escaped his notice. It's a researcher's duty to use his wisdom and intuition to bring to light historical truths which the ruin would keep secret. We carry on the work of our forebears and continue our pursuit tirelessly, then pass what we learn to those who come after. Our leader Taro understands well that this is not a task that can be completed in a single generation. He says this is why he wants to make so many discoveries, even if the credit to whom they belong is lost. That's the sort of man Taro is. But I, Dr. Kalib, won't be so easily satisfied. My discoveries will be noteworthy, to be sure, but it is my name that I want to live on forever. Not just in people's memories, but in books, stone tablets, and, what might be a trifle immodest, landmarks. Kalib Valley, Kalib... Okay, well, that's not a red flag at all. <laughs> The Khalif Hills, my dreams recognize no boundaries. Dr. Khalif. Who's... Do, have we have we met Dr. Khalif? No. At least not, not that I know of. Also high up. Hey there, kid. Did you come see the ring ruins too? We might bump into each other when you're running around the village seeing the sights. If you want to learn about the ring ruins, be sure to ask the Zunai survey team people over here, or er, people here, or the village chief. You'll find her and a few team members under one of the ring ruins. Yeah, yeah I know. Ring ruins? <laughs> They're only the most amazing sight to see in Hyrule. Of all these, of all the ruins that fell everywhere, these ring-shaped wonders are only in this village. Five of them. They found a stone slab with Zonai riding in four of the ruins. Those ancient messages are the main reason I came to this village. Aww. Problem is, I have an extreme fear of heights. My legs start shaking if I'm even on the second floor of a house. Oh no. <laughs> and every ring ruin fell somewhere high up. Mm. One of the ruins is floating above part of the village, so I can I at least see it from below. The other four, though? Forget about it. I can't even get close. I wish I could find out what's on the stone slabs in each of those ruins. I see. Alright, we'll need to take some pictures. Close! Whoa! The Radiant Shirt? The paint on this shirt is made from crushed luminous stones. Cause the shirt to show a glowing bone-like pattern in the dark? 5,000? What? <laughs> the mask! That's so cool! And of course we have the, the stealth suit as well. So cool. Hello. Hi, Clary! Uh, huh? Oh, uh, welcome. Sorry. I must have drifted off. I'm so tired lately. Mm. Oh, look, I, I know it won't help to talk about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm in a trauma dump. Get ready. My grandmother's really sick. I'm running the shop while my little sister Lassie is looking after her. Sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. Mm. I'm sorry about this, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. I've had to hike up the prices on everything we have in stock. It's just for now, though. As soon as grandmother is healthy again, I can set our prices back to normal. Mm. Uh, 
I know I shouldn't bring my home situation into the shop with me. It's nice to get it off my chest, but I probably should have dumped all that on a customer. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it's okay. Okay, time to salvage my professionalism. Ah. I'm so sorry about that. Allow me to welcome you to Enchanted. Ah. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go southeast to Hatino Village. But why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here? We serve both style and quality. CC brand? Ah. Like CC's Pizza? CC brand is a fashion phenomenon that's getting attention all over Hyrule. Yes! 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 I can't believe such a hot brand came out of Hatino Village in Nakluda. I hope my sister can go there to study fashion, but mm. with our situation at home, well. Oh, excuse me, do you need something else? Sorry, I just got, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm yes, yes, yesing about, I'm just getting really excited about the potential that there's like an increased fashion scene in this game. Anyway, what's the situation at home? Mm. See, my grandmother's sick in bed with a strange illness. My little sister, Lasley, Volunteered to take care of her. Uh, Lasley was supposed to be studying fashion out southeast in Hatino Village by now. Ugh. She loves our grandmother so much that she put her dreams on hold. Mm. Sorry about this, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. At the high okay, yeah, we get it. Okay, I'm wondering. I hope Lasley's been getting some rest. Can we go find them? I would like to help. Oaken's pumpkins. <laughs> See Oaken to discuss purchases. Where are you? Gamma. Oh, Gamma. Gamma and Leslie. I'm coming with my one true hero luck. I don't know who you are, but I'm sorry you have to see me like this. I'm dealing with an illness, and I don't have the strength to get up. This is about the clothing shop. Please talk to Clary. Illness? <sighs> the other day, when I was cleaning up the hill, I got too close to the chasm. That's when I accidentally touched that gloom. You two have taken quite a toll on me at my age. Don't worry, I'm alright for now. My granddaughter, Lasley, is looking after me. She should be just outside the house. Poor girl is very worried about me. I need to get better soon. Oh, so sad. Okay. Lazzy. Oh, there you are. This won't work either. Oh. What's it do? At this rate, grandmother's health isn't going to. Uh, and Clarice's so busy running the clothing shop. I'll just have to do it myself. I'll find a cure for grandmother. What's wrong? I mean, we know what's wrong, but. Are you a traveler? I guess it doesn't really matter who you are, as long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff. And now she's sick, bedridden. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now, too. I've been trying to mix in ingredients that could help with the gloom sickness. But none of them have had any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better. I need to do it soon. Porridge? It's my grandmother's favorite, made of Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. You might not normally think to mix those ingredients, but it's surprisingly good. I have bought a bunch of Hylian rice and milk from the merchants who traveled the road to the west, so I'm not hurting for those. Aww. But I still haven't found that crucial ingredient that fights off gloom sickness. Aww. I don't really know anything about it myself other than what it does to you when you touch it. My grandmother was cleaning up East Hill for the survey team, which he first noticed the chasm. We know now that the chasm's a source of gloom, but she had no idea. She tried to take a look, she got exposed. There's gotta be an ingredient that counteracts gloom sickness somewhere out there, right? <laughs> yes, there absolutely is. Porridge that works on gloom sickness. Okay. Let's see. So we have stuff that counteracts gloom sickness. We have, a. Uh... The Sundalion. 
Yeah. Now, what was what was the other stuff she mentioned? Okay. Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. Are these the wild greens? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Read the room, Penny. I'm sorry! Here, let's check the general store. I'm just going to the store, to the store. I'm just going to the store. You might not see me anymore. anymore. I'm just going to the store. <laughs> Took care of those weeds for you. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, welcome. I'm sorry. The old fellas who stock this place are busy driving off monsters. They've gone off to the ring ruin that's among the hills that lead west of the village. So as you can see, we've almost run out of goods. Mm -hmm. Those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of that problem up there. I can't go and check up on them. The longer they're away, the more worried I get. Codger's Quarrel. Hear me, apologies for going on and on about my old worries. Ah. Alright. We got, we got like a chain of stuff to do here. <laughs> I got the egg. I swiped the egg. Wait, okay. Codger's Coral is this way. <laughs> World's worst chicken sound bite? Um, maybe because it's a rooster. Check your sarcasm at the door. Let's do the shrine, and then, okay, so we're gonna do the shrine, we're gonna do Codger's Coral, then that will hopefully allow us to buy the ingredients we need to make the porridge. Hopefully. Just a, just a big chain of stuff to do here, and that's assuming we even have the ingredients by the end of it. An upright device. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So we know this is going to be uppies based. What is this? Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, okay. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh. Whoa! 
Oh! Wait, that's really cool! Crazy! Yeah, so it's like a stabilizer. Right device. So it's like an upright device? No, I don't think so. Sorry. Yeah, so I yeah, no, I uh, yeah, this 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 first part seems pretty simple. Oh my god, they really like, they really nerf your ability to like fling things in this game. You can't fling. They nerfed lots of speedrunner tools. That's 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 really disappointing, actually. I love that. Thank God, there's no more bomb jumps. Seems like a really weird stance to take. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> just like an optional thing. You you never once had to utilize a bomb jump. they mainly limited inertia for the sake of puzzle design yeah no for sure i mean like i i get it i get it it's just um you know i'll leave it at that <laughs> it is it is very fun to throw things okay so this is all one unit <laughs> weirdly Let me just, um, hold on. Wh whistle running, yeah, whistle running, I totally understand, actually. Um, it's like too accessible, uh, of like a just, a, just an actual like cheat. It's like the easiest speedrunning trick to do. It takes no effort to do it. And it like it just breaks the mechanics of the game's wide open. So whistle running, I absolutely understand. Um, everything else, though, I mean, like like yeah, removing like like flinging and stuff. That that feels a little weird to me. But also, I still get it. I would I don't prefer it. I would like to be able to like throw things with my motion controls if I'm using motion controls. But like. 
I, I, I mean, it's not like it's not like docking points or anything. It's just it's something I've noted that I feel like it's a little weird. Yo, wait. Hey, that's pretty cool. Makes things a lot easier. I like that they did because now we get to see new speedrun strats. I mean, we, we would have seen new speedrun strats either way. I mean, the game is so, it's, the game is set up so differently. There's an entirely different core gameplay loop. I don't think that they had to remove the previous strats in order to, in order to innovate new ones, if that makes sense. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm arguing in a way that makes it sound like I feel way more strongly about it than I do. Cause I, I honestly, I don't care that much. I just noticed I couldn't fling something over the wall and I was like, oh, weird. Oh God. Oh, I see. I see what I have to do. This'll be silly. really like these. <laughs> this might be one of my favorites. One of my favorite Zonai devices so far. I like how they just stand up. Yeah, I know. It's cool. I kind of have to move this around here, I think. climb all the way back up, but I guess we're gonna. I don't even know if I need this. So now, let's play. I love that these shrines, so many of them are just like, hey, here's like a, like a Minecraft puzzle, like build something that gets you out of here. This is, I, I like this setup so much more than like the standard, like Breath of the Wild puzzles from the previous game called Breath of the Wild. If you didn't know which game I was talking about. set that up right? Yes, I did. Whoa! Oh, crazy. I might... Hold on. I might want another stabilizer. Just for good measure. Oh, okay. 
This could be a human catapult. I'm dead. shit that was so worth the lost hearts oh my god best game best game they ever did i mean i could i could have just that was, the lost hearts are my fault i could have just used my paraglider but also went so fast i didn't know you could climb those so i just used them all as catapults oh damn you're you're on like you're like centuries ahead, I think. So cool. Oh my god. Oh hey, we get him back anyway. Forgot. Literally this game is amazing. I wonder how Joy's liking it. <laughs> All right, so now we go this way. Remember when you found the depths, it feels like so much has happened. It, honestly, not much actually has happened. A lot of this has just been travel. Um, that was only a couple hours ago. Oh, let me see what these give. Mark another, uh, another journal spot. Sorry, I know I could just read them, but I've been doing a lot of reading. I want to play. Okay. Cool. And a balloon? Awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> oh yeah, we can make we can make ship catapults now. Tomato. Fruit found widely from cold areas to warm climates, full of nutrition, and, and kind of trendy lately. Use it in cooking to recover more hearts. Noted. God, I feel like it's been raining so much this stream. It's about to be sunny, though, for like an hour until it is cloudy for some reason. All right, geezers. Let's settle this. Offense is best. Fortify your defense. It's too... It's too wet for this. Iron Shroom! Cool. Good grief. Those two really don't get along. Know what I mean? Those two? Ah. I mean, those two squabblers over there. I want to investigate the ring ruin nestled in these hills. But some monsters have set up camp there. I heard these two are competing to be the town's top fighter. 
so I asked them to clear out the monsters. But this is all they do. Uh... There's a stone slab nestled in the there's a stone slab in the nestled ring ruin inscribed with Zonai writing. What if the monsters destroy that priceless artifact? Ugh, why did I ask those two for help? Huh? On and on, you go on with your best defense is good offense nonsense. Now it's afternoon already. Uh? We haven't gotten any closer to getting rid of those monsters. We won't as long as you keep turning it upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. Uh? You stubborn old codger. Eh? Yeah, look who's talking. Alright. Bye bye, monsters. I wish I still had my bomb fruit. Oh my god. What do I have? Goblin horn. Puff shroom. Splash fruit. Muddle bud. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. Wait a minute. Muddle bud. Snipe your friends. Fight your pals. <laughs> yes. Wait, you too? Turns out the best offense is actually gaslighting. Let's see. Okay, well, now we uh clean up. Oh. Oh no! Hold on. Oh, this is so cool. Whoa, what's that? Doors? I love doors! Oh. Wait, there's a chest behind there. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, hold on. Spiked iron ball hammer. Light thin metal sword used by the guards of Hyrule Castle. It's lightweight, makes it easy to Oh, never mind. Soldier shield. Uh, what? Who have a goblin horn? Yes. Another journal. That's, that's my go-to journal symbol. Let's grab this chest. Nice! Oh, a lot of giant bright bloom seeds. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I don't want to use that, that new hammer right away. Is there another rock around here? Damn, not really. Not really. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Could you make a longer stick with two long sticks? Yeah, yeah, actually. 
I think that was like one of the things they showed off in the first gameplay reveal. Oh, a spring. <laughs> Shit. How did you hear that? Forget I'm here. Forget. <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, if it works. Oh my god, please. For the love of God. Okay. He's so dumb. Can you keep tormenting these poor bokoblins? They're literally evil. And now it's cloudy again. It was fucking sunny for all of five seconds. No. Give me back the sunny days. I really miss my sunny days. I don't know if that's a song. I'm just singing it. Get out of here. <laughs> no. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Lake Siela. Yeah, big triangle. I love triangles. Sort of made my whole career career off of triangles. Career. <laughs> Jump! Jump! So that's Jason Griffith Sonic from Sonic 06. Um during the during the first level where you uh you are simply on floating planks of wood that are flying all over the place and he goes jump all right well i guess i guess i gotta use this oh only took a couple hits oh my god there's another rock right there Strong Zonite Sword. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Can you combine the spring with the shield? Oh, that's a decent idea. I could try. Yeah, let's try it out. Spreeled. Cool. Oh, it's only good for one! I love that so much of this does, like, exactly what you think it's gonna do. Wait, that's legitimately incredible. What happens if we just hit the spring normally? I assume it goes bang, and if there's nothing on top of it, then nothing flies. Oh shit, I need to go back to those old men. I forgot I'm doing like a quest chain here. Well, once I'm done climbing. No, it's about to start raining again. Oh my God, no way. Anyway. Huh. 
Oh my god, I almost just died. What? I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. You defeated all the monsters. Just who are you? Now that was some kind of fighting he did there, Olkin. Uh, it sure was. Firm grasp of defense and a strong hand with offense. Uh, if I had it wrong all these years, it's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. Uh, no, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt. Or worse. Uh, well, the important thing is that we realize the truth before it's too late. We need a balance between the two. This fine fighter here showed us the way. Oh. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Olkin knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. I doubt there's much a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us, but glad to help if we can. Mm. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I suggest that we head back to our village. Ah. Right. I bet my Trista's store is running low on goods right about now. People there must be in deep need. Why'd you say deep need? Like deep need. Stop. I'm glad it's safe now. Ah. Now that you've chased off the monsters, I can go back to investigating the stone slab in the ring ruin. Thank you. Stone oh. slab? This is one of five ring-shaped ruins that fell in the area. They're all broken open except for the floating one within the village itself. When that happened, chambers with stone slabs were exposed. These slabs provide rare examples of Zonai Rei. Mm. Someone placed them very carefully. They must have been important objects. I can't believe I get to study them. Tara has translated a bit of it already. This particular stone slab seems to detail requirements for becoming a sage. Apparently, you not only need to be exceptional in some way, you also need a secret stone. Huh. I've never heard of these secret stones before reading this. There's still so much mystery in the world. If you want the exact text, you can read the translation next to the stone slab. Uh, Must have been important. It's a shame we don't yet know what they meant by sage and secret stone. Lead me to it. This guy's my new friend. you just realize how short Link is? Link is famously short. Uh... <laughs> uh, are you following me? Yeah. I want to see the slab too. Oh, here it is. Picture. slab of the nestled ring ruin. Some translation notes. Those who most elite among the granted qualifications are chosen as sages. Those worthy, secret stones, henceforth sages. Clearly the sages are the subject of this slab. Filling in the blanks, I think it's basically saying talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. Okay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Whee! Oh my god, they don't have the things we need. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, well, visitor, I heard the news. You've done us a huge favor. Those two have argued about offense and defense, and they were barely old enough to walk. <laughs> they just praised each other's vegetables, and now it's like a brand new day for those old coots. We've also got some stock back in, so it's happy days all around. That reminds me. Please take this. Carrot. Ah. That's called an Endura carrot. Cook it to gain stamina. It's a precious natural remedy. It's been prized since old times, and it's become remarkably rare of late. 
Please take it with you on your journey. Aww. Thank you, truly. Please drop by anytime. You got more? Ah. Oh, hello. Welcome in. Well, Coot's finally made up, so I have a strong stock of ingredients for sale again. Except, there's one little problem. <sighs> Bird eggs are still in short supply around here. Cuckoos still lay their eggs every morning, of course, but they just started laying them in a new spot. Mm. Tried following them once to find their new nesting place, but I'm not as quick on my feet as I once was. Given how well our bird eggs sell, I usually like having ten or so on hand so I can easily restock them. But oh well. Dear me, apologies for going on and on about my old worries. So what can I help you with? Ah. Stop by any time. Okay, well... No, not now. <laughs> I wanna- I wanna fix this grandma. I don't want to do a chicken quest. I want to fix. I want to fix the grandma. Aracuda wing. Aracuda eyeball. Woman. Why is that? Everybody's wearing flower crowns. It's cool. Yeah, I can fix her. You can't just fix someone, Grandma Penny. I literally can. Very nicely, how are they doing? Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> well, game over. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Surprised! I've been training cuckoos to swoop on any rough scallions who try to mess with these trees. You heard of guard dogs? I'll try guard cuckoos. Hurting my garden is a mistake someone make more than once. <laughs> no, indeed. Oh. I never. Thank goodness I keep watch over my plum garden. You're one of those tourists who have come to poke around the ring ruins? A lot of older folks live, here, live around here. It used to be a quiet little town. But since our pie became chief, we're neck deep in young folks running around. Glad we have some new blood. Mm. But I'll keep my eye out for hooligans like you. Sometimes I wonder if I care too much. This place is important, so I'll take care of it the best as I can. What are you doing, boy? Are you stupid? I know, I know, the moment someone tells you not to do something, that's all you want to do. I was young once. I've been there, but let me tell you, Sonny, you have to grow up eventually. Any scoundrel who tries to mess with my plum trees will learn their lesson. Now stand up straight and listen up! Plum symbolizes in uh, plum symbolize endurance and prosperity. The way they preserve through the harshness of winter and flower at the first sight of spring. We Sheikah were once driven out of the kingdom. We strive to live in harmony with the world around us. We consider plum trees the silent guardians of our village. These trees were planted by the previous chief on the day I was born. Here's the story. Oh god, I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, thank god. <laughs> it literally regrets its time. Oh my god, that's so funny. So what I've been trying to say is that these plum trees are full of the previous chief's devotion. Get it? Well? Hey, are you even listening? Fine then. I guess I have been going on and on about it. From now on, you better not hurt something others hold dear. Not just plum trees. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> hey, I mean, free way to progress time without spending rupees. Okay. <laughs> Campfires? What are those? <laughs> the girl next to her hasn't said a single thing. I know. Ah! Well...
Well, 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 all right, yeah, here it kind of comes a flood of well jokes. What the fuck? Well, well, well. <laughs> Look at this chest. An eightfold blade yields more powerful sneak strikes. Ooh, don't mind if I zoo. It's like, it's like, it's not the word that you thought I was going to say, but it sounds like it. How's that? Whoa. This is, this is a lot. This is a big well. Guess you could call it a well, well, well. I feel like there's got it. I feel like there's more to this. Whoa. Cool. Now we're here. Another one of these. I wonder if I should be taking pictures of these or if I just need to read the info. Stone slab at the southern ring ruin. Some translation notes. We protect Hyrule from the Demon King. Together, King. They were known as sages. All right, what I take from this is that it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it goes something like this. There were those known as sages who protected the king of Hyrule from the demon king. What is this surfer boy voice? It's amazing. Well, first of all, thank you. And also, I mean, like, look at him. You tell me it doesn't fit. What the heck can tell? Is this even anything? I don't think this is anything. Oh! Man's never touched a board before and yet is bound to it. He like he he feels he feels the pull in his spirit, but he got into science because his father uh judges him for his love for surfing. It's a sad story, really, but he's found passion in it regardless. Because who's to say that in order to live a fulfilling life, we simply must chase our childhood dreams? New dreams can be made. New things can be discovered. This is where the dragon went. Oh, let's fucking go. <laughs> I hate the Bacoblin arms. They're so unsatisfying as weapons. <laughs> Am I the only one who, who feels that way? Corsair bee honey. <laughs> Fuck you! What's 
like they got an overhaul. Whoa, people are saying it did 20 attack. I didn't even check. Not gonna lie. I, I just hate using them. I'm sorry. What's all this then? Oh, oh, this is another entrance into the depths. Hello. Oh, I could have done a sneak strike with my new sneak strike sword. Oh my god. Hey, second opportunity. Just, just smacked me silly. <laughs> That's a concussion. I died. <laughs> it's a little more than a concussion. God damn it, I have to get my bees again. I must simply get my bees again. Proficiency! Yeah, 20 damage. It's kind of gross to strap it to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. It's so old and fragile, so it's quick to break. Oh. Uh, Juniper, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. God damn it. Leave me alone. You're blowing my cover. Are you ready for violence? <laughs> no way! Oh my god, I just stole all of his apples! Aw, poor fella. He's dead now, he can't have them anyway. I love doing thievery, it's so fun. East Hill Chasm. Well. Might as well. Might be a place to increase the map. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Oh my god, I can't see shit. Okay. Uh... Glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. No way. Pose. Wow, this is this place is very scary. Oh! Oh shit! Alright. There's my next stop. And more pose. Let's go. I hate to impose. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey. 
hey, that actually worked out. Whoa, the desaturation. I think that's called a lack of light or something. I don't know. I haven't done my research. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I, I, okay, jo okay, good to know. Joy's having fun. I hear it from the other room. <laughs> Oh, I didn't need to. Oh god. Oh my god. What is this? What is this I say as I climb it with my bare hands? What the fuck? <gasps> no. Okay, no, actually no. What? All right. Minecraft or I'm so confused. Ye <laughs> old gushers. Loving these. Alright. Hold on. I actually am gonna <laughs> This isn't doing shit. I'm so confused. Not gonna worry about it. Actually, I I'll worry about it just enough to put stamp there I, I the, you know one you know what stamp is really really missing a fucking question mark <laughs> like hey uh what's this i don't know um rock no that's gonna be misleading what have i not used yet <laughs> pot I guess, I guess, like, the star could just be, like, regular, kind of, special discoveries that might be something cool, but I don't know what they are yet. Weird how they didn't add more pins. I know, right? You'd think with how many more situations you can come across in this game, they would add more options for, for marking, but I guess not. The game can only be so good. I literally love how moody this game is underground and just in general. Is the heart new? I, I, I wouldn't know. I, don't, I, don't, I never use the pins in Breath of the Wild. It was a real problem. I'm gonna grab this and then go back above ground because I need to make that porridge. Far away is a section from the other bright spots on the map. Not super far. I mean, it's the, it's the same distance between Hyrule Field and Kakariko, basically. Whoa! Oh, cool! Just a big deposit of tools. 
Okay. Here, I will mark. Tra I don't know. <laughs> Damn it. A star. Sure. Whatever. Oh my god, another one of those. Or is that the same one? Oh, that might be the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay. I just got turned around. Man, what the fuck? Oh, I need to grab some pose. They do a lot of damage for small guys. I'm so glad the pose like don't run <laughs> or anything like they're easy to grab yeah. they're just chilling yeah exactly oh my god here we go more pose. What is that? Anything? It's just a bush, I guess. Just a weird little not incline, uh, decline. I love the depths. I love the depths. I cannot believe the depths are a thing. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Look how far away we got. What the fuck? We literally entered here and we've made it all the way across here already. Oh my god. Okay. Uh let's go. <sighs> I'm like, should we go back to Kakariko or I'm actually thinking I wanna I wanna make my way to Hateno. Which I think is just continuing along this path. Yeah. Go back. The world in this game is open. I wish there was a name for that kind of game. I think they're called immersive sims. As far as anyone knows. Oh, not dating sims. What the fuck? That's so funny. <laughs> Sorry. Here, let's just put a temporary purple pin there so I know which direction I'm going. I need my horse back. Horse back? Whoa. I wonder if, um, 
The big Korok guy is still here. This will be fun to see. The ruins are famous. Oh, wow, it's like the same guy, I think. Oh, no, you don't have the cool, uh... You don't have the cool eyeshadow. Yeah, this is gonna be, like... This trip is gonna be not worthwhile on, on foot. We need to find another horse or just hit up a stable. support ah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. darn it all resident hudson are you okay hello oh no <laughs> what, what have i done <sighs> all right i'm sorry president hudson i won't let you fall over again <clears throat> That was unforgivable! It's all your thoughts startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you! Ah. Unforgivable! President Hudson? Oh, oh. Haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself! She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration! Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that... Sorry, what's all this? Uh, hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism! Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around, but President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, <laughs> I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. Hmm? What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. <laughs> well, unforgivable. Oh my god. Get real. <laughs> you know what? I'm just not gonna bother with this guy. I mean... My brother gets something to support it. It's literally spiked at the bottom so that he can stab it into the ground. And yet... No, we have one stabilizer. I'm not about to fucking... <laughs> the flame emitter. Oh, you can't. It doesn't stay on fire. Okay. All right. Oh, hello! Is that a drum? Oh. You hear that? It's coming from around here somewhere. Is that a drum? I, I hear it. Oh. I am hearing that then. Maybe it's the one I'm destined to walk through life with calling to me in that way. But it can't be. It just can't be. Mm. I wonder where it's coming from. I've been scouting here for the source, but I haven't found it yet. I actually don't hear a drum literally at all. There's no drum. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> A 
hallucinating queen. Time for a skateboard. What? Why did only one of these work? What? Oh, okay. That worked. That was weird. No, 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 gets too far away. What you are. But oh shit! No, 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 no. This is way more trouble than it's worth. Come on, man. Goodbye, my skateboard. Alright. Well, second. What if, what if I slick up the surface a little bit? to see that work. Oh my god. Uh, um plus twos are welcome anytime. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, what the fuck? Some crazy stuff going on around here. Must hurry. Huh? Ah, oh, Link! I'd heard that you and Princess Zelda had gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well. But where's Princess Zelda? Gone. But sometimes not. What? The Princess Zelda's still missing. Well then, Link. You may want to meet with Lady Impa. She's investigating the geoliths that appeared across the island. Curious name for this strange phenomenon. 
Lady Impa believes that they're crucial to the search for Princess Zelda. Ooh. She's traveling in one of those new balloon contraptions. Should be at New Serene Stable right now. I'm in a hurry to meet with Lady Impa, but I can't go anywhere nearly as fast as she can in her balloon. Let's see. New Serene Stable is just a little to the northwest of Central Hyrule. Well, excuse me. I need to be on my way. Oh, okay. Noted. No. <laughs> um... We're just, we're, we're going off the beaten path right now. We're not even following a quest. I want to do that cool thing I did again. Oh, it's badly damaged. That's okay. Oh, it didn't work nearly as well that time, but we got a little farther. That's okay. I can run the rest of the way. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> what is Joy doing right now? I just heard her fucking screaming from the other room. What is she doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh shit, that's some, that's some scary shit. <laughs> I'm not watching anymore because that was a little bit of a spoiler, but I'm not, I'm not gonna... <laughs> oh my god. I did check briefly. I saw a little thing and I'm not entirely even sure what it is. But, um... This Korok needs to reach his friend. What the hell is going on over there? Oh, my friend, you got separated again. <laughs> now over there. All right, well, so let's just mark this one. <laughs> yes, drag him. <gasps> A carriage! Oh, cool! Just comes with one this time? And we get free rocks too? I like that, okay, I like that these are kind of getting a little different. I'm glad they're not all just like the same basic planks of wood, wheels. All right. Um. Yeah, so I guess let's uh let's keep going down this way, make our way to Hateno. Hi. Uh, yeah. One point! Yay! Forty points. Oh. Uh, let's take another horse out. Let's take out... Take class out. Uh. You can get flask all the way from here? God damn. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's fine as is. I won't be taking uh. any Koroks anywhere anytime soon. Oh. So, no matter how many times I scold them, these sons of mine just don't listen. Sorry, I wasn't reading. Mm. You ask them, they'll tell you they saw some big footprints, the likes of which nobody has ever seen. I swear I'll never stop being surprised by the things my kids can imagine. Interesting. Yep. Huh. Huh. Um, not gonna investigate that too much just now. Oh shit, hold on, wait. So, I'm curious because this is a little bit weird. Um, oh, okay, so there's a shrine right here. I was just, okay, because I was going to say, like, in the first game, every time there was a horse stable, there was also a shrine, basically, like, right next to it. And that was really great because it was a nice way to... Make sure you were always able to easily get somewhere that you could summon a horse. Um, this is, I, I, and I don't know if it's the case here. I know there's this shrine up here, but this is like way out of the way. Usually straight up, like the shrines are always like right next to the horse stables. Um, 
I get it's like a little bit funny and a little bit weird that they would be that close. But still, it was it was good from a gameplay standpoint. Also, I doubt this is gonna work, but yeah, okay, I just wanted to wanted to see. Um well damn. I'm not sure what the quickest way to get up there would be. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Uh yes I am. I know exactly what to do. Let's create our very first hot air balloon. Let's see. Oh, oh, the balloon is just an entire... Oh, okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we'll put that there. Um, and this is what we use the flame emitters for. We have finally, finally discovered a use for the flame emitters. <laughs> we'll put the time bomb in the corner. Yes, exactly. You understand? All right. You know, I'm also realizing, I think this is the same stable that was shown off in the gameplay reveal. I think that's the Sky Island up there that they recalled up to. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the cliff edge. Oh my god. I knew this. I knew I was recognizing this place. All right, up we go. Does it have to keep going entirely to- yep, okay, all right. <laughs> I didn't know if it, any of that hot air was gonna linger at all. Ah! No! Oh, we just lost literally all of our progress. God damn it. Oh, we can add extra charge. That's cool. Oh, no. Hold on. Wait. Really quick, an idea. Ah! Fuck. That was my last one. Oh my God, fuck. Oh no. My plans, they're all falling apart. Anything I can use? Wait a second. I do, I think. We have a spring. <laughs> no! God damn it! Shit. Wait. Drop the string. Activate this thing! Activate it! No! Well, at the very least, let's set that up. That did not go nearly as well. Literally, the one... That one mistake... Of letting the first... The first burst, like, completely die out... Ruined my entire plan. That would have been... That would have... That would have worked otherwise. This might be good enough. Actually, especially if we use a hasty elixir. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I just need to reach, like... No! Please! 
<laughs> oh man. Hey, you know what? Actually, not the worst thing that could have happened. Maybe, maybe we'll reset with our um, with all of our charges and everything. Hold on. This might save the run. Come on. There we go. It. We did it. We saved the run. This will do it. Because now we know. Just don't let it run out. Don't let the flame die out. Oh. Oh my God. Shit. <laughs> this is a lot easier. Dunce. I get you're joking, but also, Jesus. Wasn't that rock in the trailer too? There there was a stone there was a stone that fell um in the gameplay reveal, but I think it was on top of the cliff side to the left, if I remember correctly, which is why I wasn't really looking for it because I didn't see it. I didn't see it up there, so I was like, well, I guess... Wait, what is this one? Combat training shields. Oh, is this... Oh, no, it's another tutorial. Oh, God, please. Oh, my God. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's a boring one. Yes, I understand. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's really cool. Well done. Be mindful of the element of each attack and choose your shield accordingly. Oh, interesting. I am simply being mindful of the elements. much um would like to start increasing my my weapon and shield limit a ruby rod i want that i want that here i don't need a torch right now nor do i need boca reaper ruby rod a topaz broadsword. Wait, if you use if you use gems on your weapons, you can create magic wands. What the fuck? That is so cool. That's amazing. I wonder. Whoa! Hey, I just made a sick looking weapon. With 13 attacks, so like not even too shabby. No, ah, get out of here. No, ah.
I assume you cannot shoot arrows with it, no? This, oh my god. I know I, I'm, I'm bro a broken record. This game is so good. This is so cool. <gasps> Thousand IQ fuse a shield to a shield. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Oh my god! So we can get rid of the traveler shield and then get this. Oh, wait, hold on. I pressed the sword button. Sorry, my bad. Let's get rid of the traveler shield. And then... Let's fuse these two together. <laughs> it doesn't make the shield any stronger. But it might make it more dur durable. Durable. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's like the Sheikah weapons from the first game, but it looks so much cooler! That looks so much cooler! What? Okay, actually, I wanna I wanna experiment with something else here. Um Weird weird long shot thing here. What if you put a wing on a sword? Oh, it goes a lot farther. Okay. Oh, and it, yeah, and it kind of makes an axe. Whoa. That looks really cool, too. Why does this look so cool? Why does this look awesome? What happens if you put a wing on a shield? Maybe the same thing as the uh, as the the balloon. I could try it. Here, let me um, let me actually let me try it on a on a shield that I don't want to take with me. Worth more experimentation later, but for now, let me take this with me. Maybe parry with it? Yeah, maybe. Okay, also, we should have enough to get like a, a harder stamina upgrade now. with it i'm gonna guess that some combos just do nothing special for you yeah i mean it's it's very you know it's it's a it's kind of an emergent system so some things seem to do the same as other things um and so, like some things don't do quite what you think they might do other things do exactly what you expect they're gonna do in the coolest way possible there's got to be a way to turn your shield into an actual skateboard. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. I just don't know how that would even work. I want to try it though. Well, let's 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 investigate. Let's see what we have on hand. Cuz we tried putting a wheel onto it and that didn't work. Um, maybe like, I don't know. What about putting the flame dispenser on it? I don't know. Yeah, don't actually, yeah, if you, if you know combos, don't, don't tell me. Unless I ask. And it will be extremely clear if I ask. Most of the time when I'm just idly asking, it's rhetorical. Oh, we never went over here. 
We never went to the triangle. There's too much. There's too much stuff. What is this blue pin here for? I don't know. Okay, I, we gotta get to Hateno. What even is the sort of main objective right now? Uh, find Princess Zelda. Um, and also we are, uh, trying to... Yeah, our, our personal main objective is to go to Fashion Town, yeah. Um, but in terms of actual leads we have, there are, um, regional phenomena these four points around the world um, that are giving me Divine Beast vibes. So they're either... So they're probably going to be some kind of dungeon. I'm, I'm thinking those are the dungeons. <laughs> oh, shit! Wait! Great Fairy? So I, I'm realizing now, I don't actually know the way to Hateno immediately. Is it this way? I feel like it's... Oh, you know what? It might be... Like... I don't know. Here, hold on. I'll come back. Oh my god. Just made it. Hello. Hi, is there a fairy? Anyone calling upon me from out there and all that ugliness? You must be a monster of some kind. As if I'd ever give my blessing clothing enhancement to one of you. I moved near the stable here so I could give my blessings to travelers. I suppose that if I heard something truly rousing, like the sound of a drum, I might feel inspired to come outside, but only maybe. The sound of a drum, you say? Okay, I don't know what that means. We will put the heart there. Everyone's hallucinating drums these days. I'm genuinely so curious about what's going on with that. Because I, I have no clue. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! We can make a raft. Ah-oh. 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 Fuck is it, Dano? Oh, man. I have forgotten. Is it down this path? Yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it might be this way. How about this? How about I go back to my horse? Yeah, I, I know it's far east of all your fashion sense, yeah. I know it's far east, I'm just, I'm wondering this, like, specific... Because, like, the, you know, they're kind of broken up in a weird way right here. Also, you know what? I just noticed... I'm, like... I'm pretty sure that in the last game, any area of the map that you hadn't discovered didn't even have, like, a vague outline of the world. Am I right? It was kind of just, like, weird, like, static nothingness. 
I literally just noticed that like quality of life feature that that they, they give you a general idea of what the world is. You don't have to like you don't have to uncover it to see the landmass. You just get the details. That's so much better. That's so much better. It's literally it's, it's just like all the little things that they do better here. You know what? Let's find a signpost. That seems like an obvious help. Hey, look at that. Like what I just said. Oh shit. It's like over there. Um Okay, well let's let's chase this pathway. And then maybe there'll be a signpost out here we can follow up. Also makes sense because Link is an amnesiac from a century long sleep. Yeah, true. Uh but also that that makes it funny when they re-tutorialize things that you know from the first game. Like, hey, no offense, but like, we got this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Weird. Is it parry time? Oh my god, they got crazy stuff going on here. What the fuck? Uh oh. <sighs> what? <laughs> hey, I mean, feel free to do that. You really helped me out. Uh, but you also, I think the attack was actually just um, the way they fucked with the frame rate just now. Yo, how about this? <laughs> okay! Noted! Noted. Let's try that again. <laughs> very, very large radius. Oh, hey. Oh my god! That's unbelievable! Oh, we only have one left. Here. Oh, shit. I got one of these for free. I can't carry any more bows. Since when? Oh, hold on. Is to recharge. No! Oh god, I got too greedy. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh my god, that's so cool. Soldier Construct 2 Horn. Soldier Construct 2 Horn. I hope you don't feel shoehorn. Because in the game, you are cool. And you take these guys to school. Spring Shield! Oh, man. Flame Emitter Club? Oh my god. See, okay. It's really cool fighting these guys and seeing the weapons they drop because these are just like free opportunities to experiment with weapon combinations without actually having to use my resources. That's really, really good. So let's play around with the Flame Emitter Club. What is that like? Wait! <laughs> no fucking way! 
Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely, I agree. Oh man, do I agree. Incredible. What's this? This is a cool one. Three cannons? Okay. Well, now that we have three free cannons... Um... I simply must examine... The abilities of the cannon. My god oh my god that's so good that is so fucking good oh man oh that that it okay so it does use battery and it is slow to recharge so we got to use that when it is dire i'm starting you know i'm starting to think that maybe it's not so bad that we don't have the bomb anymore I don't know, I just get the vibe that there's a, a way around it. Oh, horsey. Oh, she's doing her best. Come here, class. Let's go. I need to find a place to cook. So in Hateno, that'll be one of the things we do. Oh my God, we're gonna get another like hour of sunlight out of this game until it gets super cloudy and gross again. What is up with the with the RNG on the weather today? I feel so, I feel so like neglected by the sunlight. Whoa. Oh, we have something that can help with this. <laughs> Don't you worry too much about it. That's fine. It's fine. We got this under control. We got this dun 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 dun. You got this dun dun dun. We got this together. <sighs> Didn't need to do that. I just, I just wasted a lot of mushrooms. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Less, less of a sweeping victory than I thought. Monster forces. Marauders of Nekluda. I see. I see. All right, I understand. You've got more going on than I gave you credit for. So do I. On, man, there we go. Just makes a stronger arrow, basically. Oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this without expending, like, all of my resources. Fuck. 
Yeah, this is the forces. Sorry, class. Punching way above my weight here. That's okay. Fuck. Point blank. That makes sense. Um, it feels doable, but it's a resource drain. I don't think I'm gonna try and take them head on. I'm gonna go around. Is this game sillier than Breath of the Wild? Oh, much sillier. Come on, class. Uh-oh. Class, run, 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 class, run! Let's get out of here! Oh, oh, what's this? Some kind of death dungeon? Discovery. <laughs> I knew it. Fort Hateno Cave. Okay, so we are going the right direction. Whoa! Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. This area is very difficult. They do not want me to be here this early in the game. Oh! <laughs> Man, can I just go? Can I just leave? Maybe I can just go. And now... Well, re real quick. Make quick work of this guy. Well, I guess not super quick work. Dude, can you please? I'm on a time crunch here. I'm, tr I'm being chased. But I have shitty bows. stuff give me my stuff oh and oh damn it could have gotten some rupees that's fine all right let's get out of here <laughs> uh oh predicted this. That's fine. All right. So, down here is death. In here is death. For now. <gasps> That's Tino. We can see it. So it's pretty obvious this is how this works now. Yahoo! 
Oh, I just left, uh, I left class there at Death Cave. That's okay, she understands. Where's the nearest? Oh. I wonder if that's, oh, that's definitely the tower that'll have to reveal the map over here. So keep that in mind. That's our red pin. Are you like out of a, almost out of colored pins? Not quite. No, don't run. You're so fun. You're friends with everyone. You love to run. And have fun. Oh, huh? Ah! Horse? <laughs> you really didn't want me to make friends with you that much? What the hell? It's not my fault! I was just running! I was just walking! I didn't do anything! It's the bird's fault. Those aren't birds, those are like mini dragons. Oh my god. Okay, horse got out of there. Oh man, I was really enjoying the sunshine. Oh well. Hello there, birds! Goodbye there, birds! A departure with these words! Is Link's house still in Hateno? That's what we're gonna find out. Uh oh. Oh my god, this place is so dangerous. <laughs> like, don't want me to be here. I, I maybe shouldn't have gone out of my way to come here this early, but also, fuck you, it's an open world game. I can do what I want. It's not like I'm gonna like even have the money to get whatever fashion is here. I just wanna see. I just wanna be enticed so I know what I'm working towards. Funny squirrel, funny squirrel, funny squirrel. <gasps> funny squirrel. Damn it. I can't kill the squirrel for its resources. I really, really wish it were sunny. <sighs> I can just stand here until it's sunny. <laughs> Make a campfire or something. Song of Storms. They gotta have some kind of like weather altering ability in this. I really hope they added something like that. I don't know. Maybe that would be too much. But like, fucking Ghost of Tsushima. I know that the weather in Ghost of Tsushima didn't have nearly as much like sway on the actual gameplay mechanics as it does. What the hell is up? It's a mushroom town. What? Is it always like this? I, j I just played this game. I, I think I would I would recognize the mushrooms. Maybe if I hold real still. Oh, <laughs> he's talking to me. I'm sorry. 
So, uh, is there anything special bringing you to Hateno Village at this hour? All we have are veggies, Yisi's fashion, and just those two things, really. So, you know, not much point attacking our homes or anything. <laughs> oh, he's actually pretty handsome now that I get a good look. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask any questions. <laughs> what are you doing? You swept me on my feet so <laughs> that I gave you one of my prized eggs. No more though. Just forget what happened here today. How could I ever forget? Mm. Your heart is like a cocoa egg. Easily given, but easy to break. Uh. Please. Find it in your heart to forget what happened today. How could I ever forget? Oh. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's forgotten. Uh. I was wondering if there was some way I could romanticize eggs. But in the end, eggs are something you cook and eat for breakfast, and that's it. They say a cuckoo's memory lasts for three steps. If you promise to forget this whole thing, I'll forget it too. I should head back to work. The stores and barns are always open. Take it easy, stranger. The weirdest interaction in the entire game so far, and I loved every second of it. I don't understand what just happened. <laughs> She's amazing, though. It's not going well. Oh. Dream of owning your own home? Come down to Terrytown in Akala. We'll build it for you just the way you saw in your dreams. Huds and construction. Huh! Oh shit, is this it? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't play it last time uh, long enough to actually get my own house. Is this it? Well, Link really is a horse girl. Hold on, hold on. Whoa! <laughs> Zelda's journal? After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hateno Village. It's the largest Hylian village with sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach here. He was Pura's assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hateno Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Do they live together? Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. What the fuck, man? Oh, he's asleep. Oh. Hey, it's 8 p.m. Great time to sleep.
insane. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> The world is threatened once again. <laughs> the absolute most inopportune fucking time for a blood moon was exactly at that moment. Are you are you kidding me? That okay, I was about to say, Jesus. Restore my hearts because I had too many nightmares. Okay, secret room. Okay, nothing to interact with. Let's look outside. Aha! Oh, hold on. Anything in here? Well, well, well. What's this? Oh, please do something cool like clothes. <laughs> An old worn simple hair van. Its color is long faded, but it still has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about times past. Oh my god, we're about to clean this boy up! Yeah! Oh, cute! I actually really like that. I know he kind of looks sick with the long hair, but I don't know, something about, something about it. <laughs> Baby's ponytail is back. Hey, look, yeah, if we, hey, if we, uh, if we, uh, get rid of all the, uh, weird clothes. It's plausible deniability that we're fucking playing Breath of the Wild right now. Hey, we just modded it. No biggie. Zelda's Diary 2! Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I've put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic. Just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room. So we won't find it until after our investigation. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> oh wait, we get a we get a track quest. No way! Oh man! It's a whole fucking quest. Oh, a new champion's tunic. Part of the Princess Zelda's diary, a new and improved new champion's tunic is hidden in the throne room of the castle. She wrote that the torches are the key, but what does that mean? I cannot believe this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Um, wow. So sick. Oh, anyway. I'm gonna go weaponless while I'm here. Well, well, well. Oh, you know what? Let's let's do some cooking. Um
Staff power most used by type. There we go. What do we need? We need lots of stuff. Let's uh, let's cook like just some general meat skewers. Oh, you know what? Here, actually, my recipe. Yeah, let's do two anyway. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's a full heal. Another one? Alright, let's do a meat skewer that... I get to restore stamina. Stores Ring cooked into addition restores all your hearts and temporarily increases your maximum hearts. Very cool. When cooked new dish, it boosts your stamina beyond its maximum limit. Let's do that one. Let's do a meat skewer that does that. Oh my god. That's so many hearts. Man, that... Okay, that's the thing about making these uh, recipes that recover so many hearts this early on. I feel like I can't use them. Like, I don't, I don't need six heart recovery right now. Are you kidding me? Let's do raw meat that increases defense. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Defense up for a minute and three hearts. That is super, super agreeable. Let's do a, oh, a stealth increase. That could be cool. Actually, 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 no, 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 no. How about for some of these like crazy effects stuff? Um, I do like the fruits and stuff for that. So like, let's do like a couple apples and a couple nightshades and then do that. Cause I feel like the meats need to be used for like big heals. And like just overall like vitality based stuff. Whereas um smaller like special effects I, I should use stuff that I have a little more of. So actually, since we have less me, let's go ahead and uh here. Me Is there anything else that like increases maximum hearts or anything? Bomb flower. Oh, we have a bomb flower. I didn't notice. Enhanced swim speed when ingested. Temporarily increase your stamina limit. It's pretty good. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Add it as a spice to other recipes. Provides a stamina recovery effect. Cool. Restore a bit of health. Make one's body glow. Faint glow. God, there's so much stuff. Okay. Alright, so I think for this, I am actually just gonna cook the meat as it is. Then, let's do... Let's do... Big raw prime meat. And same with this. Let's just have a bunch of meat skewers on hand. All right. Now, let's cook the radish on its own. Because we don't need the extra heart recovery from this, but we do need... Yeah, oh my god. Five extra maximum hearts. That's going to go crazy. Let's do a stamina restoration mushroom skewer. And another one. Let's do two Hylian shrooms and... Let's just do two Hylian shrooms. Just a regular mushroom skewer. Let's do 
three iron shrimps. Two sky shrooms and a silent shroom. Let's do Hyrule herb. One Hyrule herb. And a couple bright caps. Steam mushrooms. Nice. Let's do three apples. And swim speed fruit. Let's do two apples and swim speed fruit. What was that? Weird. Let's do three. Let's just do five swim speed fruit. Oh shit, we need like peppers and stuff. Let's do three peppers, four apples. Oh my god, that's too much. Two apples, three peppers. That's what I just did, right? Wait, isn't that literally what I just did? One pepper, one tomato. There we go. <laughs> Two peppers, one tomato. Two stamina shrooms. Two tomatoes. Oh, that's a new one. I wish I had heard the... What the fuck? You see how many hearts that did? What? Too much. Too much. Too much. All right. Okay, I think I think that's good for now. Yeah, I think we got plenty. <laughs> We're kind of stacked on meals. Cool. And hey, it's eight in the morning. It's sunny outside. It's about to be cloudy for like an hour, of course. You will never die now. I think that's true. Now, my question is... Is there a shrine? Yes, cool. Let's do, let's at the very least activate that shrine. But we might as well do it. Actually, you know what? Before I do this shrine, I am going to take a break. Oh my god, it's one in the morning. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I remember when at the beginning of the stream, I was like, oh, this is probably not going to be as long as the last one because I'm tired. Um, and I think we're like officially longer. Um, oh, man. Yeah, I live on the East Coast. What are you talking about? I've been living on the East Coast my entire life. <laughs> I thought you were in LA. You can't just assume people live in LA. <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> anyway, okay. Oh, man. You know what? Fuck. I'm starting to think that... 
I should maybe do the responsible thing and stop here. We're like right up on the six hour mark. It's one in the morning. And I think if I don't stop here and I go for as long as I want to go right now, um, I might have some real problems getting the rest I need to get over this weekend in order for next week to work out for me. So, man, I really, I, I want to keep going so badly. Literally, I was not planning to stop. I didn't even notice it was one in the morning. But I think I have to stop here. That's okay. Honestly, this game's going to be around for a while. We're going to have some fun with it in the near future. I honestly, I might stream more of this tomorrow. I might stream more of this tomorrow. Um, so keep an eye out. I'll let you know. Um, also, maybe expect that I'll take tomorrow off. Because I do still need to stream art on Sunday. So, um, yeah, I think this is a fine stopping point. We found Hateno. We found the cool hairband, all that stuff. So, um... I'm going to call it here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I wonder if Joy is still going. Oh, I don't know if I want to... Oh, man. Here's the thing. Should I raid somebody who's streaming Tears of the Kingdom? Would y'all care about maybe getting spoiled of stuff we haven't seen on my stream? Or should I just let y'all go and disperse how you will? Because that's, that's the problem is that I want to raid people, but I also... I don't know. Like, like the... The difference in playthroughs is going to be so vast. There's like a 100% a chance that you'll see something we haven't run into yet. And I don't know. I mean, you know. Fine, whatever. It's okay. We can just not join raid if we don't care. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute Joy's stream so I'm not seeing what's on her end because she is clearly doing a lot more than I have seen. Uh, like she's on a completely different path than me right now, which is so cool in its own right. I feel like we probably went in like completely different directions or something. Um, I'll, I'll raid Joy. I'll raid Joy. Oh my God, she's been going for seven hours. Yeah, that's fair. All right. I went the complete opposite direction as you myself. I just love Hateno. I love Hateno Village. Anyway, all right. Thank you all so much for watching tonight. Yeah, no raid. For Wait, I, I mean, we can have a raid phrase if you want. I totally forgot about raid phrases. Y'all have any good ideas? Your heart is like an egg. They were, oh, they were roommates is actually, a I think, a, a nice, vague thing. It's like an allusion to something we found out, but it doesn't actually say what's going on. Yeah, so you can do they were roommates. All right, I will see you maybe tomorrow, but honestly, I think I'm going to have to force myself to take a break tomorrow. I'll let you know if that changes. Keep an eye out on Twitter, obviously. I'll post if I'm streaming. Um, until the next time I see you, though, whether it's tomorrow or Sunday, please take care. Uh, have a wonderful night or day, whatever it is where you are. And uh, just have a, have a great time over on Joy's stream. Uh, I don't know how long she's going to be going, but um, I hope you have fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.